All right, that about does it for the pre-show, and Logan, you are unmuted, so feel free to speak. I got nuggets. He's got nuggets, ladies and gentlemen. Logan has nuggets. Hey, Tom, thanks for the host. That helps increase viewership. Nice timing, I just got done with all my nuggets. <laughs> that was good timing. Oh, so Logan, did you hear any of the music I was playing? Oh, uh, dude, had the croc theme, had the uh, had the first desert island theme from croc. Uh, I was playing those for you, my man. <laughs> oh. Da -da 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 I'm sorry, I was watching something from Gaijin Goomba. Oh, fine. All right, I don't think I'll be doing the full screen face cam today since the Hangout of Doom layout. The Doom has all this stuff already. How's it going, Whoa. everyone? Look at the stuff. Look at it. It's all beautiful. And also have two new, two new slides down there. One for top donor of last week, and one for uh, top bit cheerer last week. But yeah. I felt kind of bad that, you know, people that, like, donated the most one week or, you know, did the- or cheered the most bits last week didn't really have anything. I just suddenly forgotten. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, you know, their names get erased so quickly, so it's just like, I, I- I feel like I gotta give them something, so yeah, I'll give them that. I think it'd be a nice little thing. Oh, look at that, he's being nice. I know, right? <laughs> Uh, so welcome to another episode of Hangout of Doom. Sorry the wait for the episode was so long, but, uh, Logan and I's, uh, uh, our- our schedules have been extremely wonky. So it has been very, very hard to, uh, to schedule shit. Yeah, like, imagine two magnets being shot, shot at each other on a pole, and they're both opposite ends. Yeah. So they just keep going, bing, 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 bing. But finally, one of the magnets flipped over. <laughs> Oh, God. And it was mine. My magnet was tired. It was working too hard. That it was. That it was. Let's see. Crash of the Titans engine voice. Doom! I can't do that voice. What, what, what was engine's voice? Was it... It was like some weird Igor voice. Oh, he does have the Igor voice. That's right. Just, I Master, think. the plans. <laughs> it was like... Doom! Oh, bitch, Igor for I can't remember. I know it was close to that. It was close. See, Jeff, I'm getting more hours at work next week, so expect so expect more biddies. Woo! I like bits. I like tickle biddies. Also, who's sticking out of the water? Also, I would just like uh, I'd like to say that Logan is coming to us live from just above the surface of the ocean, and behind him is Fergie singing the national anthem out of key, and of course, a little Reaper Leviathan right next to her. Why Fergie? <laughs> Do do you like Fergie singing? I don't like Fergie. That's why she's there. <laughs> so who am I hunting down with the knife, the Reaper or her? <laughs> well, you see, it's just like Subnautica. You only have the knife. Well, I get that, and I appreciate that. I'm going to have to edit that to make the knife glowing red. <laughs> <laughs> thought you'd, I thought you'd appreciate where you're broadcasting live from. <laughs> I put a I put a lot of effort into that one. I'm proud of it. I uh, appreciate it. Let's see, Master the Plans. Is that a reference Master. to Nightmare Before Christmas? Yes, it is. I actually forgot where that where that was from because there's so many characters with Igor voices, but I remember that one line. I remember that one line. One of my favorites was still Jack. Answer me. <laughs> <laughs> there there's a video that uh. That I put together on the Channel Gel Facebook page a long time ago. It, Logan gave me the idea. It was, uh, I spliced together a, the, one of the ending clips of Titanic with that scene from Nightmare Before Christmas. So Jack's corpse is on the door and she's going, Jack! 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 Then it goes to Nightmare Before Christmas. Jack! Answer me! <laughs> <laughs> it was so fucked up. It was great. <laughs> oh, I missed that one. Then he fell down the stairs to the tune of My Heart Will Go On. You're here. <laughs> oh, Christ. Oh, God, I'm already getting warm. It is heating up way too much in this office, and I am not prepared for it. Oh, it's heating up in my house, too, and I got my pants off. Oh, you're in Florida, too. That's the worst. I'm complaining about it getting into the 50s. 
Oh, poor you. Yeah, I know. It's like in the, It's got to be in the 80s by now over there, right? Uh, let's find out. <laughs> let's find out. 77. Partly cloudy. That's not terrible. Humidity is 56. Okay, yeah, it's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> 77, partly well, cloudy. Bad. That sounds great. 56% humidity. Wow, that's hell. Wow. You are literally in an armpit. <laughs> Much. Uh, Liam says. Meanwhile, it's back to being cold over here. Oof. I miss the cold. Yeah, I've heard. I've heard that. Uh, you know, London, like the winters are pretty suckish. Fucking brutal. I, I've heard a lot of people complaining about it. And it's been a very rainy day, and I still went on a long walk. I like rainy days. Those are the best days. I like snowy days, preferably. Oh, snow! Like, kiss my ass. Not, not blizzard snow. Just like snow. Yeah, dude. Like enough to where it piles up, but not like three feet above your roof. Remember when we uh we went out walking around town during what was probably a blizzard? No, not at all. I think my brain froze over while we were walking through the school. It was just a giant. It was like an old bad video game where like the draw distance is two feet. It was like the South Park game. That's what it was like walking around. The old N64 South Park game where the draw distance was, like, in front of your hand. I was going to say Silent Hill, the original one. Because that's <laughs> what we were filming it for, and then the cop came over and was like, hey, you should be here. And I just was like, why are you here? Yeah, it is weird. Let's see, I had like, the old N64 South Park game. Yeah, I mean... That one was fun. I like the cow gun. <sighs> It's like it's. I think it's one of those games where you really like it at the time, and nostalgia really holds it. But then you play it again, and it's just like, what the hell? What, I, you don't enjoy the people? I did enjoy the people. Oh man! All right, so to, <laughs> so tonight's topics have been chosen by Logan, and they are '90s TV shows and indie games. So, what do you want to start off with, dude? Sorry, I'm constantly... Probably the 90 shows. 90 shows? 90 shows? All right. Sorry, I keep adjusting my seat. I'm just very uncomfortable today. You can fidget. But it was more so just like 90 shows compared to now. Like you have, I don't know, Power Rangers. Was that a Nitty in the 90s? I'm pretty sure that was 98. Uh, Late 90s, early 2000s. Yeah, so it's like you have Power Rangers, Ed and Nitty, got the Digimon Pokemon feud going on. That was fun. That was, that's still amazing. And then you have shows like, fuck, what was it? Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Good oh, one. God, yeah, uh, that's. I used to watch that every damn night on Nick at Night, dude. It's one of the best shows ever. <laughs> but you had that. You had Home Improvement. I watched that religiously. That was a good one. And then I just recently, well, recently, as in when I was thinking of this shit a month ago, just like comparing it to now. And how everything's, I don't, it seems dumbed down, both intellectually and just in general. Like with 90 shows, you had opening rock ballads, like for X-Men, Rocket Power, I'm pretty sure that was 2000s. Yeah. Um, the Power Rangers theme, obviously, one of the most iconic. And then you open up with like, I don't know, Chowder. <laughs> oh, Chowder. <laughs> I, I you tried. Holy shit, someone just... Oh, hang on. Anyone remember a little 90s cartoon known as Cubics? Yeah, I remember Cubics. Hell yeah. Dude, I, I used to have the PS1 racing the game. Cubics, robots for everyone, and then Jackie Chan Adventures. That oh, was that was my favorites. Dude, you know what I remember most about Cubics? I think it was like a trailer for a Cubics. It was either like a special episode or a movie or something, but it had like this really cool, dark freaking... Um, a uh, theme playing. Like, I guess it was some serious thing in the plot. And it was just like, dun 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 Don't remember that. It was so cool, and I can never find it anywhere. It was like the coolest trailer music I've ever heard. Like, I didn't watch a lot of Cubics. I just caught it every once in a while when it was on uh, w Kids yeah. WB. But it didn't come on a lot. Yeah, it didn't come on a lot. It didn't last too long, as I recall. But I, I just no. remember seeing that ad, and it was just like, holy shit, this is cool. Yeah, like, a lot of the old kids' shows were made to be cool, extreme. 
like everything was flashy and Some... extravagant. Now it's just like <laughs> we have either decent plot with uh, Steven Universe or Gravity Falls, and then you have fall flat on your face shows like Titans Go. Oh where it's god, like, ah, butt jokes. Oh my god, T Titans Go. The Teen Titans Go is just an insult. If if you have a I don't know. It's almost like keep your ADHD riddled kid distracted for a couple minutes. Also run it all day, every day. In fact, make that the highlight show. Can we do that? Highlight even, show? Even though barely anyone likes it. No one fucking likes it. And Kate, my brother does watch it. He's young. It's a cartoon. I don't think he even really watches it. It's just background noise. Yeah. But occasionally I walk by and see the show on. They made an episode with the directors of the show. In the show. Oh, you mean the voice actors? No, I, like the directors. Oh, God. I, I, I know they had uh, an episode where they met their voice actors. Oh, yeah, they do that, too. Yeah. They did that, and one of the most insulting fucking things oh, was when no. they showed the original Teen Titans. Oh, God. Like, this is what you were. And this is what you'll never be again. And I'm just like, you want to retract that statement? We're it, still alive here. It, it's like, I get the joke they're going for. They're making fun of themselves, which I do appreciate. I, I do appreciate a little bit of uh, self-awareness in a show like that. Especially if it's a show yeah. that's not, you know, being regarded too well. Um, yeah. And I like it's a little self-deprecating. But the problem is, they're admitting that there's a problem. They know what the solution is. They just refuse to do it. Right. So, like, no, that that's just a middle finger at that point. Um, yeah, it's like with uh, Dante and Devil May or DMC Devil May Cry, where it's like, not in a million years. Uh, that game was better. Oh yeah, the the thing with the wig, the with wig. the white hair. Yeah. I thought that was a mop head just flying at him. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see what's going on in the chat. Let's see. <laughs> When have you ever seen Reboot? They made a well reboot yeah. of it recently. I did not see Reboot. I kind of missed that train. Reboot was awesome. Reboob? Reboob. <laughs> to boob again. <laughs> I, okay, I don't remember it being awesome. I barely watched any of the show. It was on Toonami. I remember it being pretty decent. Speaking of which, old Toonami, holy fuck. Mm -hmm. Good times. Like when it even had its own story. Where, like, the main character, I guess, died? Oh, yeah. They, did, something. they actually did they have a storyline with that. him. Yeah, they had a special on that. And I love his ship. I can't remember what the ship looks like. I remember the interior, not the exterior. Uh, I don't listen to critics about stuff like that. I do know it was old, early 90s CG. Mm -hmm. Not the greatest in the world. Well, they were saying, like, uh, the reboot of Reboot, I think is what he's mentioning. Oh, 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 my bad. I didn't catch that part. I didn't know they made a reboot of Reboot. And they and Tom is saying they still do stuff like that with uh, current Toonami. Which I haven't, I knew Toonami came back. It's just, I kind of like fizzled out of Toonami uh, during the original. <laughs> so I didn't really have a reason to go back. And I'm kind of out of my anime phase for the most part. Like there are very few I ever go back and watch. So it's kind of like, eh, it's not for me. Well, Toonami's partly anime now. It, it's like know, a, it, was, it was weird the last time I watched it. They were showing like some anime shows and then other cartoons. Like this isn't this isn't Toonami. What the uh, fuck? Maybe they can only get the rights to some of them. True. It, 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 that could be the issue. It could be harder to get like uh, rights to anime shows. Not they're a lot more mainstream than they used to be. Right. You know. And it's like oh the prices are jacked up now. This is actually worth something. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hell yeah. But um, my, my thing with Toonami, when it went out the first time, was kind of when I stopped. Because I don't know if it went out two times or just the one. But when it came back, it was too late. Like, that's when I was staying at your house. We were doing shit almost every day with mm -hmm. school or other projects. Then I went down to Homestead, and TV was non-existent down there. So I just yeah. kind of grew out of it. Like, I don't even watch TV much at all. All right. Uh, Crazy Crash 546 says, also, right now, five favorite 90s, early 2000s shows for me are Danny Phantom, Chalk Zone, SpongeBob, seasons awesome. one through three, Code Lyoka, and Rugrats. Ooh. 
all of those are amazing choices. Those are really good choices, actually. I, I love the hell out of Chalk Zone. Danny Phantom was my favorite show for the longest time. I loved it so much. Um, SpongeBob seasons one through three were hilarious. Like those, they're the memeiest. Y- yeah, they are the best. <laughs> Just even even aside from the uh the, the fucking horde of memes that come out of them, they really were like the best written episodes. They were so fucking funny. <laughs> like the, like the very first episode where SpongeBob is going to work at the Krusty Krab and he's like applying for the job and Squidward's kind of like going to Mr. Krabs going, hey, this guy's really annoying. I, he's my neighbor, man. I don't think you want him. And so they try to get rid of him. They're like, okay, you can get the job if you can get this super duper ultra super hydraulic mega spatula version 5.9 from some random store that doesn't exist. And then he comes back later with the exact thing they wanted. <laughs> they do that. They actually do that quite a few times in the series. Let's not forget Smitty Warb and Jaegerman Jensen. <laughs> he was number one. He was number one. I'm watching you. <laughs> the man was so long they had a board I'm sticking watching. out of the tombstone. <laughs> they did. And thanks for the host, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> but Smitty Warb and Jaegerman Jensen. He was number one. If I could only replace one of those shows on the lineup, it would be Rugrats with Avatar. Ooh, Avatar was good. That was 2000s, though. Early 2000s. Oh, well, yeah, I early 2000s. Well, yeah. Um, but Rugrats, though, it, Rugrats is kind of interesting because it, it's usually very different when you go back and watch it again when you're older because yeah. there are a lot of things in there that that were clearly they, they were clearly for uh the parents watching because they were like there was some serious emotional drama in that show like uh like uh, this grandpa epi- well yeah there, there's the there's the funny shit with grandpa um it's like oh yeah this tapes for me later you kids don't want to watch that you know that little clip I was talking about the war stories oh god yeah there's the war stories um but the one i was thinking of and this clip's been circulating around i guess a fame i guess a popular reviewer must have covered it or something but um it it's the mother's day episode do you remember that one I don't. They were cleaning out Chucky and Charles's house, and Chucky found a oh, picture of his mom. Oh. Now I remember. And that. Charles was like trying to hide the picture, to, you know, save his son his feelings, but really he's just like trying to prevent his own heart heartbreak again. And it like ended on a poem that his mom wrote for him. And it was just like, oh no. Oh god. Oh, that's painful. Oh god, it's it's kind of surprising shows like that. Like it went from you know I watch this every day, then I got a little older and I'm like, eh, it's a show for babies, whatever. But then as an adult, I go back and watch it. I'm like, oh my god, there's serious shit in here. You know the funny thing about ninety shows, I never. I mean, there are certain things that were baby shows, but just like going back and watching them, I never really thought of them as kids shows, like SpongeBob for example was somewhat meant for both because there were Mm -hmm. there were stuff hidden in there for adults which that's another thing i liked about 90 shows they knew who was going to be having to watch it they said be assertive not insertive (laughs) but it's like they knew the parents were going to have to sit there and watch it too or at least have it on his background noise so why not throw a few dirty jokes in there like rocco's modern modern life oh my god that show that show may have gone a little far. <laughs> what do you mean? He's a phone sex worker. <laughs> Rocco's a sex line operator. <laughs> or uh, Angry Beavers. I don't remember too much of. Angry Beavers. I, I, you know, the funny thing is, I don't remember that show being good. I just remember watching it all the time. That doesn't mean it's good. It just means you watched it. I, I, I don't know what it was. It was just like, if I, I can't remember anything particularly funny about it, aside from the noises they made when they fought. But, yeah, woo! But, um, Ooh. aside from that, I can't remember anything funny about it. I just remember, like, it would come know, on, weird. and I couldn't not watch it for some reason. One fine day with a wolf and a purr, baby was born in a cosmical stir. <laughs> Cat dog. Cat oh. dog. 
meow, meow. Alone in the world with a little cat dog. That was one of my favorites. That was a good one. And a very catchy theme song. That theme song really did t- <laughs> really did rope you in. Uh oh, Andy asked earlier, did you cover Courage? Courage the Cowardly Dog. That no, is, is one damn of the good of show. Time. That was a damn good show. Um, I, I, I love that they didn't, like, obviously, obviously it wasn't like, you know, Shining levels or anything, or, you know, Stephen King levels or anything, but they didn't hold back on the horror elements. No, not at all. Not really. A lot of those episodes, when I was a kid, I was kind of afraid to watch. Yeah, uh, for me, uh, for me, the episodes that were hard to watch were, uh, the one with the lady in the puddle, and... Uh, the one where the hogs are eating people. That one? The hogs in the diner. Kind of just made me hungry. <laughs> Not gonna lie. It it was just really disturbing to me. I just couldn't... I don't know. I, I just hadn't been introduced to that concept of horror, you know? It's the implied to be eating people. That's true. That is very implied. true. Return the slab. Oh, suffer my curse. The only cartoon I really watched back then was The Simpsons. I think I catch an episode or two of Courage, but I was a real pansy, so I avoided it like the plague. Dude, Courage is legitimately scary. I don't, I don't blame you. I don't blame you for that one. <laughs> there were some real dark episodes. Oh my god, one of my favorites. It's not so much horror, but it, it's um, oh god, what was the doctor's name? It was, it was the depression guy. Oh, Jalost. Was- that was it. In his depression tower with the depression cannon. Oh, that rats. hits home a little later on in life. Yeah, it's just like he, he kind of has that mentality of if I can't be happy, no one can. That's exactly his mentality. I'm pretty sure that's a line. Yeah, he's just like you know what? I'm depressed and feel nothing. Like even my little rat friend doesn't help me out. So it's like you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna use this cannon to make everyone clinically depressed. I have to suffer everyone does. Like, God damn, this guy's cool. I, I wish we could have that cannon so people understood how that felt. Yeah, and then uh, the, the, the design of the tower itself was really cool, too. Yeah, just tall spire with spider legs. Yeah, just oh, giant yeah. metallic spider legs on a giant, you know, fucking castle tower. It was neat. Oh, uh, you know what else was a freaky one? The, um, the puppeteer. The puppeteer? He was the alligator. I barely remember him. I don't think I saw his episode too much. There were a few episodes that didn't play too often because, you know, how Cartoon Network always has those episodes that plays frequently and infrequently, which I think kind of sucks because you don't get to see all of the show. I guess it encourages buying DVDs. I don't fucking know. But uh, there was that one. There was the ducks, the space ducks. Oh, God, yeah. No, what will I make now? Strudel. <laughs> Strudel. Oh, good idea. Oh, uh, Crazy Crash says the great Fusili. Fusili. Is that his name? Yes. yes. That's it. Uh, let's Not see. a scary episode, just an odd one. David says, I think I got scared shitless of the intro of, of Tales from the Crypt. I know it was an anim- I know it was animated with a zombie storyteller. Yeah, that sounds like Tales from the Crypt. A show I never got into, surprisingly enough. Like, I was, I always grew up on horror stuff, but never watched that show. Kind of weird. Yeah. I never even watched Goosebumps, really. I, I only saw Goosebumps. one episode of it when I was 18. I mean, the episode still freaked me out, but... Yeah, I... I like the, the, only, the only kids' horror shows I watched were Curse the Cowardly Dog and Goosebumps. Those are the only ones I ever caught. But, and then along with Courage was uh, Ed, Ed, and Eddie, obviously one of the best. That's a good one. I like the existential, I like the existential episode. That was cool. Everybody loves that episode. Oh yeah, it's a great episode. Oh, my <laughs> they pulled out Jimmy's outlines, man. That episode hit me weird as a kid. <laughs> it, it fucked with my head. It really got me thinking about like the difference between two dimensional and three dimensional space and like force perspective and all the, all those crazy concepts to a kid. And I was just watching that like, Oh my God, this is amazing. Like I couldn't process it properly like, the first time. <laughs> I had to go back and watch it again. 
Like they just like reach like way off into the distance, but it was just like they forced perspective. The like the moon is right there, so they just grab and like take a bite out of it, put it back. Well, no, it was it was the sun. They took a bite and then it became the moon. Oh, that's right, that's right. Oh, so good. And then it just deteriorated into <laughs> negative space. It did. <laughs> like, it kept getting worse. <laughs> oh, life has many doors, Ed boy. Oh God. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, Eddie versus Rolf in that one episode. That was a fun one. Oh, yeah. He kept getting the shit kicked out of him. Yeah. Well, it was because he, he like, wouldn't apologize for something, right? Yeah. <laughs> the, the eels of apology or something like that. <laughs> and he says, you damn knock the son of a shepherd. <laughs> That's my horse. That's my horse. That and just Eddie's do it, stupid strong. Oh, God, yeah. I, I remember there was one episode where Eddie wanted, like, he wanted everyone to like him, and the only way he could think of it was, like, sympathy. So he just told Ed he, to hurt him. And Ed just, like, picks up a house and just <laughs> slams <laughs> him with it. <laughs> and Eddie's just looking up like, oh, fuck, no. <laughs> <laughs> Like, even for the show, that was a bit much. <laughs> Just hurt me. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> or um, another fun one. Balancing a tractor on an egg and them explaining how it works. Oh, like, God. No. <laughs> no. Oh, no, no. It's like, it's... see, the egg is many times stronger than you think it is. I understand that, but I think you're pushing it. Okay, so since we're talking about 90s shows, I don't... First off, if you guys have any 90s shows that you guys would want us to talk about, uh, I guess we'll count very early 2000s as well. Uh, yeah, I... just sound off in the chat, and if one catches our eye, we'll definitely talk about it. I but... think like 2003 is the limit for that one, because that's when that... it started to lose it, its 90s feel. Yeah. And, uh, Logan, but before we do that, I wanted to say... I just want to throw this out there. Home Improvement... Versus Married with Children. They were kind of rival shows remember. in a way. I don't know Married with Children. Oh. I know uh, that one. That's not the one with the uh, nanny, is it? Or is that actually? No, no, the nanny? that's the nanny. You would. I, I'm kind of surprised you haven't seen it. You would love that show more than anything. Like, Married with children. I feel like I've heard of that one. Uh, the, the woman that voiced uh, Leela from Futurama was in there. She played oh, the nice. wife. Oh, um, and uh, Tom from Amorphous Gaming asks, Invader Zim? Question mark. Well, yeah. Since you haven't seen Married with Children, I guess I guess we can't really have a debate over that. But I, I personally, I would say Married with Children is a much better show. But Home Improvement still really, it it really does hit close to home because it's so nostalgic for me. Now, if you said Home Improvement versus Fresh Prince of Bel Air, I'd go Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Yeah, that show was a lot better. It really was. Like, <laughs> just I love I love all the humor in that show. I love it anytime they throw uh, anytime they throw jazz out the fucking door. <laughs> or uh, it's like he it just. I remember this one clip. It's it's one of the more famous clips. He's just like, oh, we so rich. Like, the camera pans up and shows the studio lighting. Why can't we afford no ceiling? <laughs> <laughs> I, I love moments like that. <laughs> that, it's just that jo like, fourth wall jokes like that didn't happen so often. So when you see the camera pan up and completely destroy the illusion that they're in a mansion, it was just like, oh my god. That's what 90s did so well. They just had jokes that came out of nowhere and like you were not expecting them they only happened once and then it's just like oh okay oh and uh oh speaking of things like that it's like with batman how he only has one crack every so often oh my like god the funniest thing ever bat batman the animated series i'm kind of surprised we didn't bring that up that show is a damn masterpiece i was waiting I, I was waiting to get into those cartoons that show is a masterpiece um, but first, uh, Tom did bring up Invader Zim. Uh, that okay. show was great. It, it, I mean, it spawned a very annoying time in Hot Topic's existence. 
but yeah. like like the the rar XD lol miso random phase that everyone went through because of Gur that still exists to this day. Just in different incarnations, but my god, is that show good. Like, I love its horrible, gross, disgusting, nihilistic view of humanity. I love it so much. It is in such start like that came out the same time as Fairly Odd Parents. So it came out the same day, actually. They had the same premiere slot. So Oh, really? Yeah, Fairly Odd Parents, I believe, went on first. So it's like, oh, it's bright, it's colorful, it's fun. And then you go to Invader Zim where it's like <laughs> everything's covered in what they never say it, but everything's covered in like shit and vomit and it's just gross and grimy and horrible. And <laughs> the teacher <laughs> was giving, like, this nihilistic speech, just, like, <laughs> before the Big Bang. Hey! Five bits! Nothing. Thanks, Andy! Before the Big Bang, there was nothing! Where you were sitting, nothing! Nothing! Where that squirrel is outside the window, nothing! <laughs> and eventually you'll all be nothing! <laughs> just like, oh my god, Miss Bitters, calm down. That teacher was... Cool. Something else. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. And I think at times the horror of that show was <laughs> even greater than Courage. <laughs> Sometimes, yeah. Oh, like the episode where he was stealing all of the kids' organs? That was... Like, okay. Oh, that one and uh, the P the PSP... Thing. Okay, we'll get to each of those. I'll do I'll do the organ one. You can handle the PSP one. How about that? Okay. All right. So, oh, and Andy, that show does count. We will talk about that next. Thank you for bringing oh, yeah, that we're, up. We're getting all of these. This is going to be a long discussion. <laughs> it is. It really is. This will be the majority of the show, I think. Um, okay. So, for those of you that have, for some reason, never watched Invader Zim, um, there was an episode, and keep in mind, this was on Nickelodeon. And this was the show coming on, like, right before or right after Fairly Odd Parents. Nickelodeon was still in a very innocent phase. Innocent. Yeah. Rock oh. modern life. Well, you know. Run and Stimpy. Uh, yeah, they were on Nickelodeon at one point, weren't they? I think they... But yeah, um, it was surrounded by shows not quite as... Not quite as horrifying. Okay, so the episode is... Was, uh, Dib was, like, uh, Dib's always trying to figure out, like, he's always trying to figure out a way to prove that Zim is an alien. And the way he figured it out was, for this episode, was, oh, he probably doesn't have human organs, so we can just get an x-ray of this dude, you know, like, the, at, at, at the school nurse or whatever, and they'll, te and everyone will see that this guy is not human. So Zim thinks up a plan. He steals organs from all of the children, like, he just swallows them. And he gets bigger and fatter. And eventually he gets so filled with their organs that his mouth is forced open. And, like, he can't close his mouth. And you can see all of the rotting organs in his fucking maw just sticking out and squishing. And you can hear it. It's really freaking gross. And I think towards the episode he, like, corners Dib. And he's, like, he's got, he's traveling with his backpack that has, like, the big spider legs. So he just, like, got that. him cornered. And the only way you can tell where he is, like, he's hiding through the vents the whole episode. And you can hear him. You can only tell where he is by the clanging in the vents and the sound of a pigeon that's sticking to him for some reason. Probably because, you know, he's filled with meat. <laughs> he's dead. He's um, dead inside. Like, much like all of us. But, yeah, it, dude, it was so disgusting. It was cool. <laughs> Yeah, that was horrific how they were doing that. Oh, and then there was the room with the moose. The room with the moose! I can't believe I forgot that. It was literally just a white... Like, it was... Like, he was taking the school bus in that episode. Instead of going to its intended destination, it was going to go to a weird dimension that was just a single room, all white, with nothing but a moose in it. And that was the threat. Like, they never explained why it was threatening. They just had very threatening shots of the moose, like eating a the walnut or even, something. The moose didn't even do anything. He didn't do That's anything. All, he, it was he, just eating the walnut. He just, like, crunched a walnut menacingly, and you're like, oh, God, no. He's just standing there. 
<laughs> Menacingly. <laughs> Dib. You think that was the premise for the episode? They just watched SpongeBob. I, I don't know, but I I remember. I remember that, like, one of the kids, everyone in the show is, like, completely stupid, by the way. And one of the kids is, like, pointing out the window because, you know, they're they're in a fake space. They're not actually on the road anymore, and they keep passing the same background. And one of the kids is going, oh, I like that brown dog. That's cool. Brown dogs are cool. But they pass the same dog over and over and over again. And eventually Dib's just like, we've passed that same dog 30 times. None of you thinks this is weird? And they all go, hey, don't diss the dog. I like the dog. <laughs> Everyone beat up Dib. Don't okay. diss the brown dog. Yeah, don't diss the brown dog. All right, so Logan, the PSP episode. The PSP episode. Okay, so this was around the time of the PSP, which is why I'm calling it that. It was like a game it was. control thing. It's a PSP. So pretty much Gaz has, and it's making fun of what kids did at that time whenever a new thing came out it's like oh, new toy throws her old psp away just like actually chucks it at the wall it breaks in half <laughs> and falls into the trash can it was go it was amazing to watch because mm -hmm. she's just watching the tv commercial comes on eyes wide and sparkly not even looking just chucks psp across the room like 40 feet away lands perfectly in the trash can in half then goes off to the store goes to buy the psp big ass line mm -hmm. well 300 people later she goes to get the last one kid comes up and steals it does the haha -ha, you can't have it it's mine now block yeah he had like a pre-order uh, or something they had the pre-order but there was like one left mm -hmm. oh no, no 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 so what happened was there was a pre-order but the guy didn't show up for it Kid freaks out and says, oh, that's me, and then grabs the thing. It's like, <laughs> shit. oh, shit. I want to beat you up for that. So then grabs it, taunts Gaz about it. Gaz is the girl. Um, and she kind of goes on a rampage. Like, not in the, not the typical destroy the store rampage. <laughs> just kind of like, picture Michael Myers as a little girl. <laughs> yeah. And uh, that's pretty much what happens through the episode. She starts stalking him, finds him at his house, starts chasing him everywhere. And I forgot how the series, the sequence of events went specifically, but she chases him all the way back to the mall, mm -hmm. goes up through the parking garage. There's a uh, mole people, by the way, where they've been trapped in that mall's garage for so long. They lived in the dark. They have basically <laughs> become rats. <laughs> kind of creepy and not unbelievable uh, yeah, though so, believable but so she chases him through the mall and eventually he gets on an elevator where which she stops by putting her hand in the door gets inside the elevator with him and then, <laughs> i hate this because i hate elevators yep but so gets in the elevator with him starts threatening him he says no you can't have it it's mine you can't do anything to me she hits all the buttons at once. Or no, she just she slams her hand against the button pad. Mm -hmm. And it just skyrockets. Like, this thing's going 100 miles an hour up. Mm -hmm. And this is like a 100-story mall for some fucking reason. It's them. The show was big so, with exaggeration. Yeah. So, 100-story mall. Things rocketing up at 100 miles an hour. He's freaking out. And then, finally, he gives in. Gives her the PSP. And then she becomes all nice and colorful and butterflies everywhere, you know? But then... She says, the rightful order has been restored. I enjoyed that line. Yeah. But then she exits the, she exits the elevator. And he starts screaming at her, saying he'll never rest. He'll never stop coming after her. Mm -hmm. Then the elevator falls. <laughs> like, just <laughs> breaks. <laughs> The steel cable breaks, elevator falls, and you just see the steel cable whip out the door. And, and he having ridden, having ridden the Tower of Terror prior to this, it's just, it's a personal thing. And I just want to say, I don't care what anyone says, that kid fell to his death. He was crushed and killed in that episode. And the only reason he popped out, like, towards the credits 
was because you can't kill a kid on TV for some reason. Not in cartoons. You can't do it. Well, because kids watch the show. Kids don't want to. Yeah, it's like, it's, well, it's also Nickelodeon. But it's like, it's clearly intended that that kid fucking died. She murdered him for a PSP that she could probably have gotten the next day. Nope. Has to be now. It has to be that one, because she set her eyes on it. And you do not fuck with Gaz. You do not fuck with Gaz. You do not fuck Gaz with Gaz. Like, Gaz doesn't care. <laughs> she is that character in the show that doesn't care. She knows Zim's an alien, doesn't give a shit. She mm -hmm. knows Dib's a science kid, doesn't give a shit. You get in her way, she'll beat you the fuck up, like... Everything could be on fire, for better or worse, and she just doesn't care. She'll walk through the fire. The fire will magically bend out of her way, and <laughs> she'll just kick the person's ass who started it. It's the American materialism at its best. Yes. Yes, it is. Yeah. It, it, it actually kind of is when you think about it. If you think about it more, more metaphorically, it, it, it kind of does fit. It kind of yeah, does. It's like we're, we're nihilistic and don't give a shit until our toy gets taken away, you know? And then we will go through any means to get that shit back, no matter what. America. Important stuff? Nah, no one cares. Our PSP was taken. <laughs> They're going down. Well, PSP and don't touch my food. Yeah, true. Don't touch our food. Don't touch my food. Let's see, like your guns. Oh, that's a that's a whole nother debate. <laughs> that's a whole nother can of worms we're not gonna open up right now. <laughs> that that could actually be a decent future episode, because I mean I think we are I a little thinking, more we are a little more uh divided on that issue, actually. Uh, I was thinking about putting it in there, but I felt like having a fun episode. Yeah, we'll it's save just, that for you know, later. We have a lot of common ground on it, but we do still end up on more opposite sides of it. Mm. But um. But um. All right. So, so any other night? Show, he said, "Challenge, Challenge showdown. showdown." That's what it was. Show was great. That was fun. <laughs> it was. It was just fun. It like, was just like all the challenges they do when they, you know, when they all touch the uh, the oh god, what were they called again? Fuck me. Oh god, what were the items called? Uh. Placeholder name, go. Uh, uh. Dinglings, let's go. Oh, God. Shangong Wu, that's what it was. Thank you. Thank is you. Is that what that is? Yeah, when they touched the Shangong Wu, it was. It, whenever they both, whenever more than one person touched no. it, they had to challenge each other to like some ridiculous contest. And it was so cool every time. There was never a dull one, they were always cool. What was your favorite one? Oh. If you ever. If you can remember any of them. Mine, I think, was the Golden Tiger Claws. Oh, the, f the favorite Shangong Wu? Yeah. Oh, um... Ooh, that's a tough one. I... I like the Orb of Toonami. I like Serpent's Tail. I almost said Orb of Toonami. <laughs> the Orb of Toonami. It just shoots anime. <laughs> it shoots Dragon Ball Z sound effects. Uh... <gasps> Orbitornami was cool. I liked... Oh, Reversing Mirror was good. Oh, Reversing Mirror. Two-ton tunic was just funny to watch. Yeah, two-ton tunic was just hilarious. He was just like, it's, just it's like, impenetrable uh, armor. Can't move. That weighs two tons. <laughs> yeah, it literally weighs two tons. You can't move. Like, the challenge <laughs> showdown with that with that one, it was a uh, it was a jumping Ooh. challenge. I forgot what the other guy, or who the other guy was for that matter. I think it was... What, uh, uh, I, I, what Shangong Wu he got? No, 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 it was, uh, it was, um, oh, God, it, it was the fat guy. I think I remember that. But I forgot what he had with him that aided him. Tubby Mora, and then that's his name. Omi, Tubby Mora, it was him and Omi. Omi had the two-ton tunic, and it's like, jumping challenge, go! Two-ton tunic! <laughs> Can't <Fuck. move. laughs> What did he end up doing? I think he ended up throwing the tunic at the guy. No, he he jumped with it. I think he used the weight. Like, he used the momentum to carry him. Okay, yeah, that's kind of smart. He could jump with two tons. <sighs> he yep. wasn't jumping like no fool. Let's see, Fist of Tebby Gung and Silk Spitter. Oh, yeah, Silk Spitter. I remember that one. Mala Mala Jong. Mala Jong. Which one was he? 
Was he the Bean? Mao Zedong was the, he was the combination of all the different Shen Gong Wu. Like the uh, the sash, the sword, the two-ton tunic, the helmet, the boots of whatever the fuck those were. Oh, yeah. He, he was cool. Yeah, I remember those. I remember, I, yeah, I remember that. I remember that. Uh, my favorite, I, I think my favorite story arcs were always where one of the, one of the group turns evil. Oh yeah, that was fun. Not not gonna lie, like okay, which do you think was the which do you think was the better evil arc, uh, Raimundo's or Omi's? Probably Raimundo. I gotta agree. I would say Raimundo. Definitely Raimundo. Um, there's his arc had so much more to it. Like Omi's, mm -hmm. Omi's kind of had the. Uh, had the cool thing where his where it's like the most skilled warrior out of them has turned on them and that's kind of a cool concept but the way it worked was like it, it, it he's kind of his opposite so he's very he's very jittery very bouncy very talkative very yeah it wasn't... evil and everything and it, he still has the skills it's just like I, it's I'd not kind of, him yeah it's not... I, what's the word for that Intimidating? He's not intimidating. Like, if he were still calm and collected... Slade. It, it, yeah, it would pretty much be something similar to Slade. Yeah, like, can kick your ass, calm and collected, no nonsense, no bullshit. Yeah, that's that's a little more intimidating, not just like, me won't come to a fight! Yeah, right. And uh, I will say, as lame a villain as uh, as Jack yeah. was... As lame of a villain as he was, like he was kind of the the goofy throwaway villain, and they exaggerated that as the show went on. But he had a really cool theme song. <laughs> yeah. Just anytime he oh. entered a room, the music went on. I'm like, all right, I'm ready for a fight. <laughs> I, I like Wuya when she was released. Oh yeah, which Wuya? That was good. It's like, oh hi, you're not supposed to be not a ghost. <laughs> I do like the ghost form, though. It's cute. She always... It was weird seeing her as a ghost. I was never intimidated by her in the slightest. She always seemed like that kind of Sparks companion. Kinda, yeah. Where it's just like, I'm here. I may. I have this voice. Like, okay. but, but then Serpent's Tail plus Reversing Mirror. <laughs> One act of that later, and it's like, oh, God, no. She's like freaking Kung Fu Maleficent. Uh, oops, you that's, just goofed. Yeah, that's terrifying. And now, on the flip side of that, Jackie Chan Adventures. Uh, oh, wait, hang on. Andy says, does my list make sense? Uh, let's see, Shaolin Showdown characters. Evil Wisp Lady, Wisp -lady. Pasty White Kid Lackey. <laughs> Cowboy yeah, Kid, what? Yellow Bald Kid. Uh, Weeb Girl, Mushu, Sensei. And some guy from Brazil. The guy from hey, Okay, Raimundo. I like, like Raimundo. Yeah, it was it's kinda cool that Tom Kenny voiced him and he used the same voice he used for Spyro. That and uh that Kimiko was, was also cool. I like Kimiko her. was cool. I did like her a lot. I liked that no matter where they went, her entire outfit, hair, and makeup matched the the culture of the place they're going to. And they always, always changed. They always changed and they always looked really good. Like, I remember they went to Egypt, and she has the whole feral garb on and everything. It's like, wow, that actually looks really cool. Most of her stuff was uh, techno pop and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Who would win in a fight? Which Wuya, Kimiko, or Cat Nappe? Cat Nappe. I don't remember Cat Nappe, but I'm oh. tempted to say Wuya. I would say Wuya. Wuya. I would say it's Wuya. It's just... Wuya. Yeah, like it it pretty much as I recall, it took the best of the team going full force to beat her. So I don't think her on her own could do it. I don't think it would be a stomp, but I don't think she would win. Um alright, so David mentioned this once or twice. I wanted to I wanted to get around to it. Um okay, so video game Video game cartoons. So, now when you s video game cartoons, is so it like, like cartoons based on video games or video games based on cartoons? Uh, 
Well, I mean, it, it it's... Cartoons based on video games, I mean, Sonic Boom's actually kind of a funny show. But that's not 90s. It's not. Cartoons based on video games, I guess. The first one. Um, <sighs> cartoons based on video games. <laughs> Captain N, the Game Master. <laughs> you get that shit out of here. <laughs> Mega Man's voice, though. Mega High. Let me shine your boots you'd for you. <laughs> you'd have to be to watch that show. Yeah, you'd have to. Be. That was a good Nostalgia Critic episode. Donkey Kong Country? Oh my god, that's right, it did have a show. No! <laughs> the Big Bug Monster is coming Coconut. after you! <laughs> no! <laughs> that's right, it did have a show! I completely oh. forgot about it. I made oh. a video about that, I forgot about it. Oh god. Oh, that show, the songs in that show were so good! Oh, let's not forget Sonic. Which one, Sad AM or the original? Unfortunately, Sad AM was good, so... Sad AM was good, and the other one was... Noise. Uh, yeah, it was. Oh, you know what? Don't make fun of that theme song, I like that. Oh yeah, it's catchy as fuck. They had Jaleel now, White as Sonic, which is a weird choice. Because that's the first voice of Sonic. It's the first... Okay, so the first voice of Sonic, their choice was Jaleel White. Okay, not a terrible choice, looking back, but it wouldn't have been my first. <laughs> not my first, no. That's... Still worked in Sad AM, but... <sighs> it, it's just an odd choice. Urkel? You know? I don't know. It's just it, it, like he, it. It is kind of like the iconic voice now, though. Like anytime someone makes fun of Sonic, they always go to the Jaleel White voice. They never go to like modern Sonic voice. Oh no, because that one was a real good Sonic voice. No, because I mean, yeah, the modern Sonic voice. Like, okay, it still has a lot of the annoying quirks of the original voice, but it's a little less cartoony. Not um, not the Sonic Boom voice, the one that came before that. I forgot the voice actor. The Sonic Boom voice isn't bad. Um, the other no, it's one, not. It, it's grown on me, but I hated it after watching Sonic X and all of that. Yeah. Because for the longest time, it was just one guy like doing a Sonic 360, uh, Sonic X, Sonic. Um, I think he went through Unleashed too, and then suddenly it just changed, and I'm like, I'm not okay with this. Yeah, that Sonic voice was good. I thought that was good. See, Sonic <laughs> Underground was awful. Yeah, it was. Which one was Underground? Uh, he's got a brother and a sister. And they make music. The power of friendship and music unite. Alright. Um I'll tell you what, uh can you I'm, check I'm not... Discord without seeing the without everybody seeing it? I'm I'm not I'm not the biggest Sonic fan. That just sounds insulting. It is insulting. <laughs> like, all right, if Street Sharks did something like that, okay, that's fine. And that's another 90s show. It was the better Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, in my humble opinion. It was Actually, exactly the same right. thing, but much cooler protagonists. Mm -hmm. It's like, turtles that do kung fu, all right, like it. Uh, ninjutsu, thank you. It's all the same shit. Um, no, it's not. Or, sharks, humanoid, giant humanoid sharks that when That's they travel, the assuming, assuming they're not on a motorcycle, they chew through the asphalt in a terrifying display of power. And they're all giant muscle-bound dudes. Oh yeah, they're all crunk. Yeah. They all sound like totally surfers 90s, dude. Yeah, that's another thing about the 90s. Everyone was a surfer, bruh. <laughs> Jawsome! Like, yeah, Crash Nose. Crash Nose. Crash Nose. <laughs> I had toys of those. Who didn't? Almost no one knows the show, but almost everyone had at least one toy. Because there's such a marketable design, why didn't they take off? 
because <sighs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, bro. They were the bro bros, apparently, bro. Oh man, I I, I don't yeah. mind. I don't mind TMNT. I just think it's a shame that they took off, but Street Sharks didn't. Sure, yeah, that's a sad thing. Like some shows didn't make it, and they were really good. Oh. Although I I don't remember too much of Street Sharks, so. It's been a very long time. I've only seen a handful of episodes that I could find on VHS. That's all I could see. I never knew when or where it was on. So, this hair keep going. Maybe it here. didn't take off because how are you selling sharks to children? If you look at the action figures, it wouldn't be that hard. No, they I'm had good one right now. They had good action figures, man. Like they were like legit, top quality, really cool action figures. mm Hmm. It's kind of like the anti-Sonic when you think about it. Sonic has good action figures now. Oh no 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 not not in terms of action figures. I'm saying in terms of like character marketability. Like, uh, oh yeah, both, both Sonic and the Street Sharks have very good, very easily marketable uh, designs. Like, but whereas Sonic can release bad game after bad game after bad game after bad game and still survive. No matter what they do, they will not go away ever. There will always it will always be profitable. Always. Which gives them creative freedom. I just wish they'd use it a little more. Um I wish they'd use it properly. Yeah. Um but Street Sharks that just didn't work out for them. Weird. Yeah. Also, I didn't realize this, but uh they're basically Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles villains. Yeah, they the villains. were injected. They were injected with shark hormones. I didn't realize that. I never saw episode one. Yeah, it's pretty I much it. I just thought they were beefy sharks that decided I feel like rollerblading. Nope. Oh, and that was another thing. They all like rollerbladed or rode motorcycles or any cool 90s thing. I think one of them skateboarded at one point. Uh, rollerblading. Rollerblading's fun. If it's a 90s cartoon, it has to have a skateboard somewhere. It has to have something with wheels. Yeah, rollerblades or skateboards. Some, you had to have one. Something that... Oh, this one has an ATV. Ooh. Bold choice. For a bold shark. Ha <laughs> ha! All right, so I think... Okay, I'm going to read through chat a little bit more, and then we'll move on to indie games. But there's still so much 90s. <laughs> that there's too there's too much 90s is the problem. It was too good of a decade for TV. Don't get me wrong. There's a lot of shit, but there's still a lot well, of good stuff. There's plenty of shit, like Biker Mice from Mars. Yeah. <laughs> Biker Mice. That's kind of an awesome title. I'm surprised it didn't survive on that alone. Uh, Let's see. I never watched the Kirby cartoon. I think I should mend my heart of stone. Oh yeah, there was a Kirby cartoon. Kirby right back at you. I remember the ads for it. Pretty good. I, I've it seen pretty decent. Little clips of that show have been circulating around Twitter now, uh, lately. And I, I Really? Yeah, it's just it, it I didn't think people remembered it. It honestly looks like a cute show. It like is. the one that kept circulating the most were uh when King DDD and his little snail friend they uh they fucking like they were like wondering how um god what were they called uh, I can't remember what they were called the little dudes with no mouths they kind of look like Cabbies? brown kirbys no that's that's the thing fuck waddledees that's it waddledees that's it they were wondering how they ate and so they put a cookie up to its mouth and it just like vanished and you could just hear it chewing and they're just like how the hell did it do that what are these things i was I like i remember that episode that was weird uh, and then the other clip was, uh, all the Waddledees in a big group were all doing the Kirby dance with them. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, that's really cute. And surprisingly coordinated. Yeah. Kirby's adorable. And yeah. And scary. Another example of perfect marketability of a character. Like, that design is, and it's so use, simple. They use it. Yeah, I mean. Pfft. And Kirby games are good. I've, I mean, it's generally the same stuff, but it's good. I've seen very few Kirby games, but what I've seen of them, it looked like it was pretty damn good. Yeah, the first one I played was uh, Nightmare in Dreamland for the uh, Game Boy Advance. That was fucking great. 
all the powers felt great. The levels were nice. The music was pretty good. And the final boss was surprisingly hard. It might have just been me being a kid. Yeah. But, like, it was a great game. And I don't think there's really been a terrible Kirby game. Like, some of them might not be top tier, but I don't remember any being bad. I've never heard a lot of outrage over any Kirby game. But again, as a person that's outside of it, you know. Yeah, uh, well, oh, I haven't and, even heard anybody talk about it, really. Oh, it's and David, like... David pointed out that uh, there was a Kirby episode where they did a parody of the psycho shower scene. Oh. <laughs> She's like beating him with a hammer. It actually had blood, too, which is weird. Probably not in the American version, but... Probably not. The American version Ew. of many things censored it. Yeah, I believe it was... I believe the, it was handled by four kids, if I'm not yeah. mistaken, so no. <laughs> four kids censored many, many things, which is really Beware stupid. of my finger guns! You don't have to beware the finger guns. You have to beware the splanker. <laughs> the splanker? Yeah, one of four kids' most notorious censors. Turning a pistol from one piece into... A boot gun. The boot. I think it was a boot gun. I don't remember. <laughs> it looked like it was just scribbled. <laughs> it was great. Ah, uh, and uh, oh, it was it was paint, not blood. Ah, uh, damn. Um. Okay. All right. So I think we should move on to indie games because if we keep going with ninety stuff, I'm gonna keep thinking of more and more and more. I, it I just keeps coming. It does. There's too much well, good shit. It don't stop coming in. It don't stop coming in. It don't All stop right. coming. In, so, it don't stop. so chat. Well, I'm gonna let uh, Logan pick the first indie game that we'll uh, we'll rant and rave about. Uh, if you guys want to hear us talk about any particular indie games that you can think of, uh, just let us know in the chat. And if one catches our eye, we'll uh, we'll talk about it. Um. So, yeah. Logan, what do you want to start off with? Well, first. While we're talking about this, I just want to hear the chat's opinions. Oh, boy. Stardew Valley is a good one. I'm playing that right now. Um, all right. Superiority. Pokemon. Digimon. Go. Ooh. That is... And the first one... The first one I want to talk about, I might as well. It's on the screen. Subnautica. Let's go. All right. Okay, so Subnautica. I think... Despite the issues uh, with the game, just in terms of uh, it getting really buggy after a few hours of playing, just because there's so much crap in it. Yeah. Well, it's got to it's got to memorize everything. Like right. I I tried this. If you exit the game, any ore or any like little bits of shit you have lying around that you just drop, mm -hmm. they'll still be there until the end of the game. Right. So, and no game does that. Like, Minecraft, they disappear. Terraria, it's, if you exit the game, they're gone. Like, anything it, you play where you drop something, it's gone. It's Even a, Seven Days to Die. It's a very... It's a very risky, bold choice to do something like that. Yeah, But, I mean, they did it, and it, it does memory. work for the most part. It's just that every once in a while, you gotta validate your game files or whatever, and, you know, it fixes it, which is good. Right. But you only get one load time throughout the entire through any of the game, and it's just when you start up, which is right, good. And that's really impressive. It is. Like for a game that's as big as that is, it's like in total the whole thing is like five kilometers around, however high up the uh, aurora is, which you can go up on if you cheat, which that's impressive. Oh yeah. Like it didn't have to be solid ground. So you have that, and then however far down you go, which actually they have up to 7,000 feet or 7,000 meters down, just completely uh, just solid ground. It's not just a complete drop-off. There's a little platform under it. Hmm. And then after that, it's a drop-off, but still, 7,000 meters down. And That's a lot of feet. <laughs> the game does a very good job of immersion oh, with yeah. its sound effects and its music and the way the the animals in the game make uh somewhat evolutionary sense with their environments i i i mean it, it it's really damn good and it actually it actually does trigger like fear when you're going into a new area because you don't if, especially your first time playing because 
like, okay, when you first play, typically you'll start somewhere near the safe shallows. Yeah, you start in the, sh the uh, safe shallows regardless, just different areas yeah. of it. So typically the first thing you're going to run into are the stalkers, stalkers as far as predators yeah. go. And you're like, okay, those things are pretty, those things are a little scary, but, you know, we can get away from them and all that. But then you start going into water. You start going out. You see the seafloor start going down and down and down, and it's getting darker and creepier and weirder. You see all these different fish, and you're just stuck wondering, what's the next predator going to be? And then you hear a reef back, and it scares you shitless. Yes, the reef backs are terrifying until you know what they are. <laughs> like, once you go up like, to the reef back and you realize, oh, it's just a whale. It's really, okay, all right, these things are chill, cool. Yeah, because then... Um... You'll run into them in the grassy plateaus, which is like the next area out from the kelp forest. And typically when you're out there, you're going to be out there for a decent amount of time because it's a pain in the ass to go all the way back to your base, all the way back out there. So chances are you'll be going up to the surface a bunch and it'll be nighttime at some point while you're trying to look for shit. Right. So when you hear that, when you can't see anything in front of you, it's, it's a bit creepy. A little bit. A little bit. And fuck the sand sharks. Yeah, those things They've are assholes. They never scared me. They're just the annoying things. Yeah, they're super assholes, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm um, here to scare you. <laughs> but yeah, the game does a really good job of that. And it's an indie game of all things. Like, this is... Like, it's... This is just a couple people developing it. I don't know how big the team is exactly, it's but... It's a triple A title level of, like, detail and just quality but it's an indie game that you can get for very cheap 20 bucks i got mine for 10 20 bucks or 10 bucks if it's on sale yeah, but i got mine for 10 and i was not passing that up yeah i mean like that's it's kind of a steal and admittedly once you're done with the game like there's very little in terms of objective mm -hmm. but just for dicking around like there's no real limit i remember one of the scariest things. Um, it was. It didn't even really run into anything. One of the scariest things was, uh, for those that don't know, in Subnautica, the little bits of objective that you do get are little distress beacons that come to your radio. And, you know, you go to them, and usually, the, well, yeah, the people are dead, obviously, the and dead. You, you loot their shit. And hopefully you'll get something that'll help you out. Usually um, you do. So one of them... It was, it's like in a little volcanic area, and it's very deep. It's the one with all the bone sharks and the electric sharks. I know where you're talking about. This is where I started yelling at you to go back up. Yeah, that's the one. That place was terrifying as shit because yeah, it is. Yeah, wasn't the bulb zone? I, I don't, I think it's near it, but it, it's, it's so low down. It's so Actually, dark, even during the day, because of its depth. There's a little volcanic geyser, and there are these predators that, at that point, I wasn't, I hadn't seen a whole lot of, if at all. And they are fairly aggressive, but I'm just yeah. like wondering, like, oh god, are any of the big ones here? Because you know, you're looking at the environment. It's like, all right, there's a lot of big open space. This seems like somewhere a big thing might be. There wasn't, thankfully, but it was just like the game mm -hmm. does a really good job at making you feel mm -hmm. that. Like, you are always on your toes. I remember that one now, actually. Um, hate to scare you, there is a big thing in that area. Which one was to it? In fact, uh, the one I'm about to hunt. Uh, not, not the Fergie, the other thing. There, there were Reapers there, in that area? Yeah. That's, uh, you were near the front of the ship in the Koosh zone. Oh, okay, so there were Reapers. Yeah, there's one, um, there's also a cave nearby that goes straight to the, um, fuck was it called? The Lost River. Oh, interesting. Um, yeah, there was one nearby that I accidentally found. Um, there's a Reaper hanging around that direction because, uh, the Koosh zone is also right next to the mountains. Well, damn. So, uh, yeah, you got that, and then to your right, or wherever you were facing, I don't quite remember, there's the uh, front of the Aurora, and obviously that's not fun. Yeah, and, that, and that's another thing that they did very well, is obviously, I think the majority of people's first thought when they 
you know, gets stranded at the beginning and everything. They're like, okay, so where are all the supplies going to be? They're going to be on the ship or near the ship. So you get your lead suit to deal with the radiation. You go over there and my God, there's so many Reaper Leviathans. It's terrifying. Just one that apparently has the aggro range of about 10 feet in front of them. There's, well, I suppose that one's supposed to be introductory. The one near I the front guess. of the ship. But the thing is, like, there are a lot of Reaper Leviathans. It's just a matter of, like, people are going to be searching around the ship for supplies. Yeah. So I they're going to be going around the back, the back there's where there's a lot the of them. I looked. There are I think there's like about six yeah. in total around the, in, around the Aurora, which I had a funny thought yesterday. What's that? Um, how many did your ship land on? <laughs> That's a good point, actually. No wonder they're so pissed. But um, oh, yeah, it, killed Steven. But yeah, for twenty bucks, that game offers so damn much. Oh hell yeah, it's so good. And it looks so good. It, it looks does. good. It sounds good. And if you have good headphones, you will piss yourself if you hear a reaper. Mm hmm. It's not even intentionally scary. That's just that's what it's like in the ocean, dude. It's scary, man. Yeah. <laughs> like. If you go, some of the scariest moments are just being in open water, and there's nothing there. You can look at the map, see there's nothing there. That doesn't matter. You are in open water, it is pitch black, and you can hear sounds. Mm -hmm. Most of them sound fucking awesome, like the uh, crab squids, the bone sharks sound pretty decent. Fuck the sand sharks. And as much as I hate the fucker, the Reaper is my favorite fish in the sea. Oh, God, it's cool. It's just... And they, oh. the one bad thing about Subnautica, they don't give a good idea of how big things are. There's no, uh, there's no scale. Yeah, there need to be more items to scale with it, because, like, the Reapers, for example, the majority of them you're going to see are by, like, you know, the ship. And the ship is so massive, it makes the Reapers look small. But we, y you did that thing... Uh, where you're able to, like, the little code where you're able to, like, leave your yeah, body little... and see the scale of yourself it versus was, um... the Reaper. Yeah, it's... I did a uh, size ref thing, and it's fucking massive. Yeah. Like, they need a little triggered event. Like, something. Like, uh, let's yeah, say... Like a cyclops, or not a cyclops, a uh, sea moth just sort of being there. You go up to scan it. And then that thing just comes out of nowhere and grabs it. It could be something like that, or it eating one of the sand sharks your first time going over there. That'd be fun. Or yeah, uh, something maybe, like that. I don't know. It it has the capacity to kill reefbacks. That'd be a fun thing to see. That would be metal as fuck. Um. Okay. So before we go to the next game, it looks like I'm just gonna go through the comments relating to uh, the uh, Digimon okay, versus. Digimon. Pokemon thing, and it's looking like uh, David says none, both suck. <laughs> Fuck you. Uh, Your opinion doesn't matter. Tom says games, Pokemon, anime, Digimon. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, I think that's fair. No, I, actually, no. Digimon, I remember having pretty decent games, especially in recent times, because uh... it had Digimon World and all of that. It just wasn't. It's not the same. As Pokemon. Like, you don't go around, catch Pokemon, make them fight each other. You know, it's not cockfighting in disguise. But there's still similarities. I mean, it's still monsters fighting other monsters. Just, you know, not slaves. Yeah. It's all about friendship and winning. Yeah, I think... Yeah, the message is a little less muddled in Digimon, I guess. <laughs> but Digimon still had the better shit. Like, the monsters were cooler, the attacks were cooler. It, it was about friendship, but, you know, kids right. actually died. So so here's kind of a tough one. If you had to go for the theme song, which had the better theme song? Talking original for both. <sighs> original for both. Okay, Pokemon. Uh, it, it's tough, though, because Pokemon, it, it, it had one of the most... It has one of the best uh, show intros of, like, all time like that guy's voice and the song itself it's just so good but at the same time digimon's a very simple in comparison it's 
very it's almost as infectiously catchy i feel well okay i'm gonna take a step back towards the 90s stuff the one thing i wanted to talk about more than anything about the 90s shows was just how their theme songs got you pumped oh god yeah like, x-men pokemon digimon power rangers mm -hmm. teenage mutant ninja turtles um the fuck was that one? Oh, mighty ducks that one gets you pumped street sharks had a good one Street Sharks had to go. It's just like the 90s had, they just had songs that got you ready to watch their shows. Even if like the show sucked. Hear, <laughs> even if the show sucked. But like you hear the X-Men theme song and you're like, let's go. I got my, <laughs> I got my Wolverine onesie on. Let's go. All right. We, we can't, we can't talk about we the theme songs without at least I... mentioning DuckTales. A woo woo. woo oh, and you know what? I forgot to ask you this. Do you even remember Bonkers, the Bobcat? Very vaguely. I the only time I ever watched it was when I was like like half asleep. That's when it came on. It came on at like three in the morning. On uh, adult, I think oh, it, God, it did too. Yeah, it was Disney. Um, it came on at like Tim three Disney. in the morning, and I, it was just, I remember that. Yeah. The duck tails. Woo! Let's see. Braveheart Digimon was a fucking brilliant theme. Uh, I don't know him by name. I I, I never okay. Like as, as much as I uh, tend to prefer Digimon to Pokemon, I I have to admit I didn't see as much Digimon as I did Pokemon. Was that the uh, Digimon Frontier theme? Because that was a good one. All That's right, that's the one where the uh, kids actually became Digimon. Weird. Um. Okay, so Andy brought this up, and I think uh, you'll be able to talk about this more than I will. As far as indie games go, uh, he says his favorite indie game is Starbound. Starbound, okay, you know Terraria, right? Terraria, Minecraft, those kind of games? Yes. Yes, I do. Big it <laughs> is it is a Terraria-type game okay. where you go around, you collect stuff. But the way it goes about it, now that it has a proper intro, um, you start out in an academy, and it's a quick intro sequence. It's basically telling you how shit works, mm -hmm. and it's over in, like, two minutes. So right. pretty much you wake up, you get ready for your graduation, you are now a guardian of the galaxy. Woo! That's what I'm calling it. Don't don't hate me. But I am Groot. So you wake up, you're a guardian of the galaxy now. Yay! Shit happens and your world is like absolutely wrecked. Like Dang. it's destroyed in the first two minutes. Earth is gone. Goodbye. So you escape on your ship and now you have to explore this random world for resources and all that shit. You get those random resources and now you have an entire fucking universe to explore. Mm -hmm. Literally. I don't know if Psycho's in the chat, but I showed her the map. And, like, you get decent-sized worlds that you can actually loop around. You can go from uh, your starting point back to your starting point just by going in a straight line, which is nice. Okay. But So the world is pretty decently huge for what it is. And I wonder if you can dig straight through it. I need to try that. But So the world's huge or decently sized you can get a bunch of different materials from it which after time passes you get sort of the same materials because there's like ocean planets standard grassland planets uh desolate radioactive planets where you get raw sewage and shit from okay um mutated worlds because of the radiation uh volcanic planets ice planets just like a captain different... planet captain planet i'm sure you can combine a few to get that <laughs> but yeah so it's just oh we didn't talk about captain Planet. by your anyway. biomes combined i am captain planet planet <laughs> Enjoy it. all right so you're no longer a guardian of the galaxy you're a planeteer yes and you go around to all these different planets with different biomes like it's all just different biome planets that's it but there are infinitely spawning randomly generated planets that, okay. While they have similarities, none of them are exactly the same. And I found a nickel on this one, but there's a dime on the next one. Yeah. <laughs> nah, it's that other game. I can it's never remember game. the name of. Wait, hold on. What? Uh, no, it was that one game. Uh, it was another indie game, funnily enough, I think. I think it was indie. Um, it was supposed to be like an open universe exploration thing. Where all the different planets oh, had different things, oh, they're all completely oh. different, but they all ended up being pretty much the same thing, and everything looked bad and derpy, and 
the gameplay sucked. That was a sucked. space mining game, right? I think so. And there. Oh no, no, you're talking about um. Oh, you're talking about that Sky game that just came out that we were just talking about. Yeah, it was Sky something. Yeah, I call it Skybound just because it's funnier. No, I think that is it actually. I think that's no, it's it. Not. Isn't it? <laughs> no. Um. Fuck, that's gonna bother me. But we'll get back to that. It's yeah. Just, it's pretty much that in some ways. Like, there's only so much you can do without making it too overwhelming. Right. Like, they're making it a bigger McDonald's menu instead of turning it into the Cheesecake Factory. Oh, No Man's Sky. That's it. No Man's Sky. That's it. Thank you. Yeah. That's it. It's a better No Man's Sky, a far better No Man's Sky, just not 3D. <laughs> you go to like every planet, every star you see in that map, you can go to. And again, all similar, all got pretty much the same shit, but it does get harder as you go out and you do get more stuff. And there's a lot of stuff to do. And, um, like, every time you make stuff for food, you get new recipes. If you combine certain things, you get, I mean, the ore is basically the same, but you can craft new armors, new workstations, new weapons, like, everything just, and it feels good. And, of course, there's the looting, too. You can just go up to people and fucking loot shit. Uh, and I'm at a point in time right now where if anything looks at me wrong, it just dies. Yeah. Um, okay, I got, so... I got a rifle, I can kill everything it, in one shot, it's fun. Sorry, I just want to make sure we don't spend too much time on, uh, single games, but, um... Oh, it, fun. Don't you flip me off! Anyway. I didn't flip you off, I was picking my nose. No, I didn't just, just popped in. Finger. Aiden just popped in to give me the finger. Thanks, babe! Love Thank you, too. Thank you! Okay. Be there when I can't. Uh, okay, so... Uh, other indie games we can talk about. I was thinking either... Uh, Did you want to touch on No Man's Sky? Uh, I, as much as I love to laugh at it, I, I don't think I have the no the background knowledge required to talk about it at length. Fair enough. Um, I, I would mean, I was just going to say like what a disappointment it was. Oh, but... it's just... I mean, just a failed pro. It's a failed Subnautica. That's pretty much it. All right, so if I'm looking at the screen here, um, the thumbnail I had for this... Uh, I'm thinking maybe either Little Nightmares oh, or Undertale. Those are two good ones. Oh, Cuphead was there, too. Cuphead's good, too. Just in terms of uh, animation and whatnot. It had a good idea going for it. Oh, yeah. But I would have preferred it to be a boss rush game. Yeah, they should have probably just stuck to that. Because that's what they were going to do, but then they thought it would be too short. But then, look, look at Shadow of the Colossus. Yeah. Game's long as fuck, and it's exclusively a boss rush game. But, um... I've, it, well, Undertale's cancerous enough, and it'll draw on people. Watch, say Undertale, and watch 400 people come in to watch. <laughs> but, uh, until we say something negative, then it all leaves, and there's just toxicity <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> like, all right, I, I love... I, I the, the my first you know four or five playthroughs of Undertale I love the shit out of it I I have no problem talking about the things about the game that are shit like I mean I I think we can all all of us that love it and hate it I think we can all admit that the gameplay is repetitive as hell and a lot of times the alternate endings are not worth all of that work yeah especially the genocide run yeah. Okay, well, the gen if you're doing a straight-up genocide run, it's... You gotta kill everybody, though. Yeah, like... I, I don't mind the genocide run itself. I would just say have fewer uh, encounters that you have to go through. Mm -hmm. That'd be it, really. Just fewer encounters. That's all. It's like, oh, there's, uh, you know, five in the ruins, and there's uh, ten in Snowden. You know, and they're at select points and shit. Just stuff like that. Um, instead of like, oh, I have to keep glitching out in the same corner over and over and over and over and over for these billions of fights. But, um... It, I would say just lower the number of monsters per room or per area. That, that'd probably fix that problem for me. Um, but just gameplay in general. Like, it, there's an ending depending on, like, if you kill only one character, there's a different ending for it. And there's a different one for each and every character. 
that you kill off. Including the little characters, not just the main ones. There's a lot for, like, just killing, like, oh, you killed Mold Small. Your ending's different now. Now, they're not all unique, obviously. Like, a lot of them are the same. But it's just, like, going through all that work to get those different endings, it's like, it's not worth it. Just go to YouTube and look up the endings. And a lot of them are really funny, but it's just not worth the work. Like, there's one where Papyrus becomes king, and that's fucking great. What? Yeah, oh, yeah. He's, like, the only guy left, so he rules everything. And I think there's one where, like, the annoying dog rules the underground, and it's just, like, it, like it's the most prosperous time they've ever had. <laughs> like, that's pretty funny. But, um... Yeah, there's a lot of gameplay elements like that that sucked, and I, I'm yeah. mainly focusing on the bad just because I've sung its praises for so long, you know, people get tired of hearing it, but the soundtrack was amazing. Oh, hell yeah. You cannot deny that soundtrack was the best. Every song was great. Mm -hmm. Even it the ones I didn't care for that much were great. Oh, yeah, and the light motifs that they use throughout the game for different characters, or different sets of characters were, like, really good. Like, damn, I love that. Like, I've been a fan of that since, uh, since Vex, actually. I think, I think Vex was the first game that used, uh, leitmotifs in its soundtrack. Uh, for that one, it was the theme of, it was the main theme of the game, and also Azrael. Summon of the Sages. That was, uh... Oh, 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 that one. Dun-dun-dun-dun. Yeah, just... Dun -dun 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 -dun. It was a really cool theme, too, and I like that it was, uh, little motifs from the song were used throughout the game. Especially mm -hmm. in, like, especially in, like, the final boss. It's just fu it just feels so fucking final, because that, that little tune, whether you actually paid attention to it or not, has been, like, weaseling its way into your brain. So, it actually feels like it's the final fight. It feels like everything's added up to this. Because that little tune ties all these little things together, uh, subtly in your mind. I just like that. And see, a lot of the songs are also the same song, just cleverly edited to be different. That's true. That is true. Like, uh, uh, let's see. Um, Muffet's theme is pretty much the same thing as, um, I believe it was Napstablook's theme. Napstablook's was the, um, no, that was the dummy theme. No, no, it was in the dummy theme as well. All the ghost characters and Muffet had that theme. Either the leitmotif of the theme or the theme itself. I don't hear it in Muffet's theme. Uh, it, if you look at uh, side-by-sides, you'll hear it. it. It's a lot more subtle in hers. Yeah, if you, if you listen to side by side, there are videos where it's like, oh, here are the leitmotifs for, you know, the ghost characters. And, it, you know, it'll show you. Um, they're very subtle ones for Sans's theme as well, actually. But yeah, it's cool stuff like that. Like, I thought it, that was very well done. Um, and then there's Undyne's theme. No. <laughs> the other one. <laughs> oh, God. Dun, 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 dun. Sans is Ness Undertale. God da damn you, Game Theory. Oh, you've ruined so many. You're, well, their fan base has ruined so many comment sections, including mine. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, the boss fights in the game are cool. I like that they got creative with a bunch of them. Uh, though, for the pacifist route, I will say that some of them got really annoying. It's like, there, there's some of them where it's like, you could have sped this up a little bit. I, I know the idea is to, like, hey, you know, being a pacifist isn't exactly the easy route. You know, you gotta go through a lot of hell to be able to do that and everything, but it's, like, could have shortened it a little. Especially with, especially with Toriel's. Especially with Toriel's, yeah, because... Yeah, take a while. Yeah, hers takes so long. It's, like, anyone playing the game for the first time, I know it's kind of intentional, but it's a little much. Just, like, no one's gonna think... Doing the same thing over and over again with no result. It's gonna work. Right. No one's gonna think that. Like, not initially anyway. And I know that's that's kind of the point, but it's like, 
I, I think more often than not, it's going to be the issue for new players of like, okay, this didn't work, and this gave me a shitty, this gave me a shitty cutscene afterwards. So it's like, oh, what do I do? You know what I mean? Just it, it needs tweaks. You know, without knowing, yeah, without knowing what the game is. And for the love of God, a run button. That would be great. What you didn't like running around at the same pace? Ah, uh, so slow. I wouldn't need it for every room, just a few of the long stretches. Story, I think, was good. But, Story was very well done. But then you'd be able to run from Metaton. Yeah. Metaton's... Fun. Yeah, Metaton was fun. Good boy! <laughs> he's, he's making fun... What were they making fun of? It was Final Fantasy three, wasn't it? The opera scene? Well was that it? I think that was it. They were making fun of one of the Final Fantasies that had that little, uh, that little, uh, not opera exactly, but it, it was a character that was singing. I didn't know they did that. Oh, but Metaton dressed up as a princess. It's just, it was really funny. Then, like, right at the end, where they send you the dungeon, they're like, toodles, click. Yeah, one of the Final Fantasy games had a moment like that. Yeah, I think it was three. I could be wrong. It was an early one. I know it was an early one. Um. Uh, what's another one? Um. Did you want to talk about little nightmares at all? I don't know too much about that game, other than having just seen Cry play through it. But uh, that was disturbing as fuck. Oh yeah. It's definitely disturbing. Um, I, uh, I like I said, I don't know much about the game. I don't even really know what the whole story is, aside from just I don't want to die. I think that's the majority of it. <laughs> that that's about the only thing I know about the game is I don't want to die, and then I become the Antichrist at the end. So, uh, oh, the ending was so good. It was satisfying to watch. It was. It was super satisfying. Um, I think they did... I, I think they uh, they did the stress of survival very well. I think the character designs were very well done. It's like if Invader Zim meant 3D. Kind of, yeah. 3D. It, 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 they did a really good job of just creating just such disturbing environments. And, like... and. Like, the chef looks so... Messed up? Disgu it looks like... It looks like a humanoid fish that, like, got injected with nothing but trans fats for a year. So the blobfish. Uh, it's gross. And yet, I kind of like it. Yeah, it's like, it's a really good design because it's so disturbing and they're all, like, gross mouth breathers, too. Mouth breathers. And you I can, love that. No, I love that term. I they legit they legitimately are mouth breathers. I, they they breathe I through know. their mouths very loudly. I know, but I enjoy that term. <laughs> it's a weird insult that I've heard occasionally. That that insult's used in Stranger Things, actually. Fucking mouth breathers. Yeah. Have you seen that show yet? No, I should probably do that at some point. Oh, yeah. I've been binging One Piece. You'd like it. Getting, it keeps getting good. It hasn't been this good ever, and I'm enjoying it. You'd like Stranger Things. I'm sure I would. I want to see the Demogorgon. Hmm? I want to see the Demogorgon. Oh, the Demogorgon. Yeah, Demogorgon's cool. Um, I call it the Demogorgon. <laughs> Demoborgir Gorgon. Demoborgon. <laughs> Demoborgon. <laughs> uh, black metal bands. Um, but, um, yeah, and then just... Yo, welcome back, David. The stress of survival in that game is always there, and it keeps getting more stressful. Like, first with the stretchy arm man, oh. then uh, then you're in the water. I never saw it was in the water, but apparently you did. Oh. Oh, yeah, and the DLC, the water hag. Oh, my God. <laughs> I remember. I remember distinctly that moment where I saw what it was. It was. It was pretty much. I was going on like, oh, it's kind of cool. You know, I think they did this better am than Amnesia, where you don't really see what's under the water, and it lets your mind, you know, kind of race. Then I saw it was underwater. I'm like, I wish I. I okay. I want to go back to my imagination now. I want to go back. This is worse. Fuck it. 
<laughs> I was like, no. Dear God, no. This is much worse than what I was thinking. I miss amnesia. <laughs> oh, amnesia. Ugh. Hey, but Joby's in the chat. How's it going, my dude? Mr. One. See y'all talking about? Oh, right now, right now we're talking about uh, Little Nightmares. Good horror game. Very good. Very well done. Mm. Platforming's fun. A little janky here and there, but it, it's like so few and far in between. Whatever. It's not like a commonly occurring thing for the most part. Some of the puzzles in that game are hard, man. Well, not only that, but they make you think about it like immediately. Which goes with the uh, stress of survival. Because mm -hmm. it's like, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Oh, he grabbed me. I'm dead. Fuck. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, uh, David actually brings up a decent one. He thought we were talking about Spooky's House of uh, Jump Scares. That, that's, that's another one worth talking about, I think. I can't believe you were scared of that. I wasn't. I thought it was great. I, it was not fun. Not you, him. To be fair, that deer was horrifying, and so was the deer god thing. I don't know what you're talking about. Rinse his eyes out with bleach. <laughs> there he goes. The fucking deer. No. That, <laughs> the game had moments, and what made it better was that they didn't happen too often. At least not at first. Like, obviously, as you're going down, they're going to be more and more prominent. But just the fact that, like, you start out, you get the cute little ghosts and cupcakes popping out at you. And it starts to become funny. And then you get to your first room with the first actual monster. Mm -hmm. And then you're like, can I go home now? I want to go home. Uh, like, uh, you get the witches or that one face that chases you, the deer god, just no. And see, then the siren was a fun one. Oh, yeah. Uh, hang on. Joby says, I just watched a movie with some friends. It was Hobo with a Shotgun. If you ever do a topic about movies, give that a look. I just might. Oh, God. Sorry. Did you watch The Hills Have Eyes? Ah. Uh, Belch snuck up on me in mid-sentence. I'm like, oh, I just... <laughs> but, uh, uh, Morty. Spooky's House of Jump Scares was just a really fun horror game. Yeah. Like, it... They were just kind of like, okay, so yeah, we're gonna make another one of those jump scare games, but let's have fun. Like, we're not going to do this whole, we're not going to do the whole, like, oh, we're going to try to take this super seriously, and it's going to be like, ooh, so spooky, and so seriously dramatic and scary, we're going to take ourselves super seriously. It's just like, nah, this is a cute little ghost fucking with you. It's like all these cute little cupcakes, and then occasionally run into a horrifying puppet thing. Then you go back to the cute little cupcakes and slime monsters. It just goes back and forth, and it's just... it's And it transitions really well, and eventually it starts degrading. <laughs> it does! Like, the, uh, the little cupcakes and stuff that come out at you are damaged, patched mm -hmm. up. Then you start getting, like, skeletons that pop out at you. It stops being cute little cupcakes. But the ghost's tone never changes. Except... <laughs> Except for the little bit that she's clearly, like, slightly annoyed that you're making it so far. Oh, spooky herself, yeah. Yeah. Well, you've made it this far, so, uh, good job, I guess. <laughs> well, have fun. Oh, man. Let's see, uh, Jeff, remember when we looked for the secret ending on, on stream? Oh, God, yeah. We were, like, looking up a video. <laughs> We were looking up a video of uh, the of uh, Spooky's backstory that you can find in one of the arcade machines, and it's first off really cool backstory. I think it's I, I think it's really nice, honestly, and it's surprisingly good for that character. Um, but the video we watched, we paused it like right before the guy was getting there. We didn't know that he snuck like a little reaction meme in there, so we hit play. And then the first, like, it switches immediately from the game to this meme reaction clip, and it's just this black guy going, Yes! This is the moment we've been waiting for! And we just died laughing because we didn't see it coming. Oh, was, that was a good stream moment. Oh. I remember that. But, but yeah, um... Yeah, the backstory was good, actually. It's definitely worth looking for on YouTube if anyone is interested in the game and has the time. But, um... But yeah, Spookies in general was good. Uh... What Did else? Did you have another one? 
Uh, I'm trying to think. Let me look at the thumbnail again. I know I had another one Was on here. Was Honey Pop an ind independent game? I think so. Not 100% sure. It was fun. Yeah, it was definitely a fun game. It, it, I like the way it did it. Just the whole dating sim thing. Yeah, just kind of a self-deprecating dating sim that knows what it is, knows who its audience is, and just kind of has fun. That, and actually playing it was pretty... It's kind of like playing Dead or Alive Extreme Beach Volleyball. Like, yes, we all know what this is. We but, are all here for the boobles. Yes, we understand. But actually playing the game and finally getting to that last date is pretty intense. Mm-hmm. Because when you have to match the shit against the time, and you keep looking at the bar going down and down and down, and you're just like, no, 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 no. <laughs> like, honestly, it was more stressful than fun. Or no, it was fun, but more stressful than, than pleasing. Because <laughs> I kept hearing her moan in the back, and I'm just like, shut the fuck up! I'm trying to watch! I'm just imagining, like, the actual scene playing out, and he's actually just saying, like, please shut up, I'm trying to work here. Stop <laughs> moaning! I'm trying to match! <laughs> he's, like, playing, be he's fucking playing, like, Bejeweled on his phone or something. <laughs> Uh, Playing bejeweled on her butt cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Andy says, I just remembered something. Dr. Jalos from Courage had a depression cannon, and Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, the robot had a depression gun. Yeah, that's true. That is true. He oh. did have that. I like listening to all the little background dialogue from all the aliens. They're just going like, oh, it's just not worth it anymore. Oh, God, I just don't, I don't feel up to it today, man. <laughs> it's just they all fall over and you can hear them just saying shit like that um one okay piece had something like that too which one one piece oh okay it was a depressing ghost that when they pass through you you just get severe depression <laughs> it's just like napster bloke i'm i don't, i don't even deserve to be a man you should just be a fucking worm it's like wow okay uh, David brings up SCP Containment Breach. Oh, that was an indie game. That was great. Yeah, that one's that one's more your thing. So you can you can go on about that if you want, my dude. Have at um, it. Sort of the same thing with Subnautica. Like you know, there are things out there you just don't know what they are or when they're going to pop up. The sounds in it were great, and actually, they're getting a uh, Unreal Engine re-release that's already there. Hmm. Um, still in working, you know, it's a still work in progress, but it, just the game itself is so good, and they introduced so many of the SCPs that made sense. Um, because SCP itself is just like a fan fiction creepypasta thing mm -hmm. that everyone sort of has access to do, but, like, just the iconic SCPs you see in there are horrifying. Like obviously you have uh you have the mannequin or what the fuck was it called? It's the one where it's the weeping angel. I know you know that one, that's the most popular one. Yeah. But it's got that one right out of the bat. You're you have to deal with that, and it's fun because you don't know when he's gonna pop up or where. Um and then you have the old man who comes up out of the ground, has his own theme song, and can walk through walls. And solid objects. Oh, and Andy says uh, the one you're thinking of is 173, the sculpture. Sculpture, thank you. I knew the number, but you don't. So it's like, oh, yeah, it's SCP 173. Okay. What does that mean? It means the other but... 172 sucked ass. <laughs> uh, no. No, I don't. It's like, wow, is this 173? What happened to the other 172? <laughs> <laughs> they're there yeah no it, it was more like it was more like you know a joke about like people's usernames and shit where it's just like oh you know cool guy 934 huh the other 933 must have been really sucky if you're the one that made the cut <laughs> no, uh, still there. I know what you're saying and Andy but... says his favorite was the plague doctor Plague Doctor is fun. Um, I told the Plague Doctor I want none of that. Dun, dun, dun. He's not as scary as the old man, but he does walk towards you slowly with his hands sticking out and pretty much turns into a zombie. Not 
not like uh, the Resident Evil kind of decaying thing, but like he shoots you up with something that turns you retarded strong. Shoot me up before and, I go uh, go. Oh, speaking of go go, have a good night, David. See ya. See ya, my dude. Tell Karen I said hello. <laughs> what do we? What do we do? Your neutralness. Tell my wife I said hello. <laughs> Uh, the neutral planet. Those are the best characters. But, yeah, so SCP is just a fun survival game. Because there is an ending, there is a way to go about getting to the end, and there is a way to see every SCP if you feel like killing yourself. Cool. Some are even beneficial. Most kill you. <laughs> the best SCP is the candy that if you eat it, you get AIDS. Is that an actual one? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> All right. I forget. I forget which one that is, but it's like a candy that's that can be anything. I'll take it. Oh, there's even um, in the remake, there's even uh, SCP that is basically just a candy bowl with the side with a sign beside it that says "Take two or "Only take two mm -hmm. If you take three, it cuts your hands off. Cool. And then you just bleed out and die. I just imagine that being in the opening to Undertale, where you uh you take candy from the candy bowl. Dead. Bad end. Yeah, there's a SCP for pretty much anything. Even a room that's made of flesh. Uh, Joby says his favorite is Redacted. Joby's an asshole. You is a asshole. Yeah, unfortunately, it's like the Redacted on the site is basically just I couldn't think of something cool so i'm just gonna make it seem like it was important and yeah yeah um well they, in some ways it's cool it's like um it's like black ops stuff because no one's supposed to know what this is and some of it if you even know what it is is probably bad like uh there's one creature one of my favorite it's a deep sea horror um if you know what this thing looks like you're pretty much gonna die because any body of water is just going to pull you into this hellish ocean. Cool. And it kills you. Um, from what I gathered, it's pretty much like a Reaper Leviathan with tentacles. I don't know. Neat. Um, but there's a lot of redacted stuff in there. For the purpose of, you're not supposed to even hear what this thing's like. Like, you can't hear a description of it. You can't see pictures of it. You cannot know what this thing is, or you're dead. Because that's how it operates. That's how it operates. Okay, that's like it doesn't matter if it's a bathtub, doesn't matter if it's a glass of water, you're going to die. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's kind. That's of, a very uh, Twilight Zone kind of kind of monster where it, it it reminds me of the Twilight Zone thing where uh, it was a kid that ruled the world because anyone that think because he can read everyone's thoughts and uh -huh. anyone that thought anything bad about him. Would like instantly get like turned into a monstrosity or just disappear or get killed or whatever. Just like everyone had to lick boot for the entirety of their lives. Simpsons Fuck. actually did an episode on that. They actually uh, did an episode parrying that. It's pretty funny. He turned Homer into a Jack in the Box. <laughs> like they went on the roller coaster and his head stretched as the his I'm his neck stretched. Oh hey, Always thanks for the host, man. Thank uh, you. Like his neck stretched because it was like a spring when they went down on the roller coaster. <laughs> like his body went all the way down. Like, ah, ah. <laughs> like his head was dragging behind. Hey, Mark, welcome to the welcome to the stream, my dude. Um, welcome. 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 I don't want what you're buying. I don't want you what you're selling, man. Um. Okay, so we are at about the two-hour mark. So would you want to go ahead and switch over to Tom's weird videos? Or was there another uh, indie game you wanted to talk about before uh, before we end that segment? Um, indie games? I'm not sure. Unless you had one. Uh, none I mean, come to mind right now. We've talked about all the ones I had uh, I had in mind. 
We kind of very brief, briefly went over Cuphead, but I mean... It's a very brief game. It's just a boss rush with, unfortunately, quite a few flaws. Yeah. Yeah. And, and like every game wasn't the same, it looked like, because some people didn't come across those flaws but came across others that you didn't come across. It was weird. Right. And I I I hate that that meme like, don't get me wrong, I find it kind of funny, but I find it really annoying that that meme of like uh cuphead, you know, looking very like condescending towards you, just like, oh, what's wrong, buddy? You bad at video games? It's like well, no, there are legitimate issues with this game that need to be addressed, but everyone's just like, oh, you're just not good at video games. Well, yeah, if you ever used Charge Shot, maybe you'd have a chance. God fucking damn it. <laughs> the only time I've ever snapped at the audience was that stream, because I was so stressed. <laughs> I feel so bad about it. <laughs> well, you're stressed, and literally everybody in the chat said the same thing over and over and over again like a mantra. Yeah. It's just like... Use charge shot, use charge shot, use charge shot. I have no helpful advice, use charge shot. I know this game. Uh, uh, there was that one guy who was condescending dick, too. Man, oh man, that was, uh, that was, a, hell of a, was a hell of a stream. <laughs> Never again. I see SCPs is the topic, I assume. Uh, well, first we talked about uh, 90s TV shows, then we moved into indie games. And now that we are done with indie games... I believe we are about to move into Tom's weird videos. I'm scared. So and I'm, I'm stalling for time. Alrighty, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull up my list of weird videos to send to you via Discord. And I will set things up as I play the little intro music. Tom's weird Wait, videos. real quick, play the Mighty Ducks theme for everybody. They need to hear the majesticness. No, no Mighty Ducks. But it's an awesome theme! And it's also amazingly copyrighted. Is it? It's so old, though. Uh, and yeah. It's di oh, first off, it. it's Disney. Disney's the reason that copyrights last forever now. It used to be, oh, you know, after 50 years, you know, it becomes public domain. With Disney, it's like, oh, no. We get to renew it forever. Forever. All right, forever. so I'm going to send you... Burr. Okay, so just don't watch this yet. Just uh, sync it up to zero, if you would, kind sir. And what I'm going to do is I am going to... Oh, what the fuck is this? Yeah, I know. I know. It's a weird one. Today we're going to show you how to create a stunning professional website with If Wix videos didn't have thumbnails, this would be a lot easier to look at. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just wait. Let's see. Have mercy, what's wrong with vids? Um, you'll see. You'll see what's wrong with this. Okay, so this might take a little bit of prep. Uh, just give me a sec, because I have not done a Hangout of Doom episode in a bit. Let me make take sure. your time. I'm, I can wait. <laughs> oh, I bet you can after seeing that. All right. I can wait a good long time. Oh, where's the YouTube channel? I can get rid of that. Um, face cam, banner, backdrop, video window. Here we go. I want it to be that. Yo, we just got bits. Hang on. Hang on. Tom just donated <gasps> six bits. We got them tickle bees. Yo, thanks, Tom. Appreciate it. All right, so if I just, like, maximize this. Okay, so I just got to maximize it. Weren't you going to try to set something up saying, show me those bits? Oh, I did, actually. If you watch the slideshow in the middle, there's a little uh, slide that says, show me your bits. It's got my creepy face in the background. It's very faint, but you can see it. All right, oh so I just about have this set up. Sorry for the delay, guys. It's just a little bit of a pain to get this, get this going here. Uh, video window looks like it's still about right. If I just kind of shift it over a little. Okay, and the chat has to come down a few layers. There we go. See the bottom of chat still, so that's good. All right. So, are y'all ready for some Tom's Weird Videos? No. Oh, I bet you are. <laughs> no. 
<laughs> All right, everyone. Keep an open mind and embrace the weirdness. Ready, Logan? I have an open door. <laughs> Loves an open door. All right. So three, two, one, and click. Well, kids, let's see what Patrick's up to. Gotta get a check. Gotta get a check. Everybody calls me Spat. No more. Because <laughs> I'm gonna get a check. Oh, God. Yeah, I can feel the muscles. <laughs> I, I can, can feel, feel the muscles. Burning. I got to get in shape. I got to get in shape. It's working. Look, oh, it's not sucking away. Oh, God, no. I'm going to get in shape. I got to get in shape. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. Something's going wrong. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, God. See what happened. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go ahead and unsubscribe real quick. <laughs> he had to get in shape, dude. He had to get in shape. I'm just gonna go ahead. All right, let's I'm read the. Go ahead and look at some furry stuff. To Let, let's read that the palette. chat reaction here. What do we got? We've got. We got concern. Hey, Ice Eagle's here, and he says, Crippling depression. <laughs> Same. Oh, holy Majibus, screaming. It's not as bad as I thought, to be honest. It's just disturbing, man. Concern. I love that video reflecting off of your glasses shirt. <laughs> I was hoping that would add a little element of awesome to it. I'm, All I'm right. Concerned. Okay, so, sorry, I, I'm supposed to read off the titles. That one was Patrick Gets in Shape. And this one. Is real demons caught on tape? Is it feminism? Ooh. I'm not that cruel. Though, you know, that is something we could do. It's a little bit of a ripoff of uh, Drunken Peasants segment, a little bit, but we could react to, like, bad uh, feminist slam poetry, if you could survive that. Ooh. <laughs> Just uh, don't expect the most pleasant reaction. Yeah, they're all bad. Um... There's actually one they came across in Dark of Peasants that was actually good. And they actually, like, agreed with a lot of it. It was kind of interesting. But, um, anyway, um, okay. So, Logan, I have to ask, what was your favorite part of that last video we just watched? When the screen went to black. <laughs> or was that my eyes? <laughs> He's like, I gotta get in shape. I gotta get in shape. Oh, God, something's going wrong. I like that little clip, like, I can feel the muscles. All right, here we go. Demons caught on tape. Oh, God, are these cats? That wouldn't surprise me. All right, are so this dogs? is real demons caught on tape. Is it supposed to be shitty quality? I believe so, yes. Okay. It's also dark, so it's going to look fuzzy on most cameras. Okay. Well, I just saw the uh, quality. It was only up to 360. Oh, was it? Oh, okay. Well, yeah, it's just shitty quality then. All right. Okay. Okay, so three, two, one, and click. <laughs> Could you breathe through your nose a little bit, sir? <laughs> Fucking mouth breathers. See, this is why the demons are coming to get them. They couldn't get any sleep. And his camera work leaves something to be desired. Oh, hello. Silent Hill 4 much? Tickle, Quickly. Tickle, tickle. <laughs> tickle, tickle. She chose down. <laughs> Quick, get a holy candle. Boom. I'm not gonna lie. These effects are decent. Oh, God. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Oh, oh no, not the baby arms. I, see, I thought those were going to be cats, just like clawing at the door. You know, honestly, just go for the baby arms. You can step on them. You'll be fine. I don't want to see what the baby arms are attached to, because I don't think it's a baby hand. Don't look out the window. That's where the face is. There was an eyeball there. Oh, God. <sighs> where is the... Uh, Hang on. Get out of my house. Out my of boy ain't much, but he's all I got. 
right, where's the face? Oh, hey! <laughs> He's known as the Handyman. Oh, God. <laughs> there it is! All right. Okay, 10 out of 10. That one was good. Like, Those were good effects. Yeah, they were. Like, they, they simultaneously made it look like it was on a really crappy camera, and the CG effects looked really good. Like, that was good, I'm man. I'm handy, man. <laughs> Any job he does is a hand job. <laughs> Jeff, watch out. It's Diddler. <laughs> He's going diddly you. He's going diddly you. <laughs> and see, it was not that bad, funny. I had fun with it. <laughs> the handyman can. I mean, we're both sort of jaded to horror. Oh, dude, fuck yeah. Like, that was legitimately pretty good, though. Like, honestly. Oh, but, um, that, um, that kind of quality is in Lights Out, though. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, so cool. I think you'd enjoy that, you and uh, Aiden. Because it's that kind of quality. It's not, like, shitty, you know, it's HD. But it's, like, that kind of... Uh, it's that kind of quality that they're working with. Like, they try to make things good. It's not just scares for being scares. Like, oh. they take certain things like lighting into account. Okay, so, unfortunately, the last few have not- have apparently, if I'm looking at chat correctly, for most people, they have not been that scary. So, let's- this one's a classic. I'm pretty sure most people have seen it. But... But... It is still very disturbing, and I don't think anyone can deny that. Let's see. I see Adler says, oh shit, I can sub to you on Twitch now. Oh damn. Hey, I'd appreciate that, my dude. I read his name as I said. <laughs> I said. I said. I said. All right. Let's see, just for the title. Oh, you saw you got a glimpse of the title, did you? All I did right. not. I was so, looking at I said. Okay, so Logan? We're about to watch a little video called Pickle Surprise. What the fuck is that? It's Pickle Surprise. <laughs> it's I'm a surprise. The pickle. Oh god. <laughs> Just you ready for this uh, madness? Hold on. In the um when on the Discord when the thing pops up, you get the little videos on the side or on the bottom. Yeah. The first one to pop up is Donkey Punch. <laughs> All right. Okay. I'm not ready, but go. Okay, so here we go. Make sure to breathe out your mouth. Everyone get ready for a pickle surprise. All right, so three, two, one, click. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Do not want. Yeah. Okay, this is her. Oh God! It's a human dildo. Okay. So this is what anime looks like through the eyes of Jeff, by the way. Jeff. This was made. Ham. Ham. Repeat my mantra. No. Ham. No. Ham. No. Ham. Ham. Oh, God. Ham. No, go back to the pickle man. What the fuck was Pickle surprise. Was that just a water splash? Where's the pickle? Surprise. That, that's assault, is what that is. Someone made that. <laughs> Where's the pickle? It's a surprise. No, that's assault. <laughs> someone made that. Oh, Christ. <clears throat> Alright, so yeah, someone made that. For sure. So did Five you guys have a nice pickle, pickle surprise? surprise? Five nights at pickle surprise? Oh, God, please, no. No. And with that, I'll see my way out. <laughs> there we go. Finally got him. <laughs> go ahead and close that open door I got. Oh, God. Yeah, Pickle Surprise is like... 
They need to make a modern remake of this. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> HD 4K 60 frames per second. I like how it was just ham, ham, ham. <laughs> and then the next one was just like a splash sound. Like, what the fuck? Oh, man. Pickle Surprise is one of those classic, classic, ham. disturbing internet videos. Ham. Ham! <laughs> Oh. Have yeah, that play when someone gives you five bucks. <laughs> that uh, honestly, I am ha tempted. <laughs> Just ham. Oh, do I do ham? Do I do the splash sound, or do I do pickle surprise? <sighs> I. They're all good. They're all good. Bucks, pickle surprise. Which one? Thirteen bucks. Pickle surprise. Pickle surprise. That is possible. I'm gonna write that down actually. See, thirteen bucks. Pickle surprise. Something tells me I'll have no idea what that means later. <laughs> I'll just be like, "What the hell were we doing?" Oh, oh, you think that's bad? Just wait till we start doing drunk Minecraft. Yeah, we gotta get a regular day off, man. We I'll will, ask. We will make it I'll happen. See if I can get a regular schedule. All right. So we, now so, for we the... also have to. What is it? We also have to reinforce Fort Kick-Ass at some point. At some point. Um, okay, so we're going to go ahead and move to the game segment of the Hangout of Doom. And today oh, will be a little weird. different. Today we're going to be doing... Uh, where's the thing? There it is. Republic today... Commando! <laughs> <laughs> today we are going to be doing ad-libs. If it, or Mad Libs, rather. If you guys Ad don't know what Mad Libs are, it's, it's that thing where, you know, it's like, oh, choose an adjective, choose a noun, choose a descriptor for this, choose a number, and then it fills out a story for you, and it puts all those words you picked into the story. Okay, so what... Let's see, I'm trying to think. Let me just pick one. This sounds good. Advice from Dad. Is the name of the story. Okay. I'm you Yo, Slarksy is now ho- I'm Hey, watching. dude, thank you very much. I appreciate yeah. that, guys. How you uh, doing? For, yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, for those who uh, who might not know, Slarksy uh, gave, me a, uh, gave me a raid a while back while I was playing Seven Days with Logan. Definitely check them out. They are like top quality streamers. It, it's really, their shows are really good, man. That was an amazing stream, and you guys are amazing people. Thank you so much. Yeah, thanks for that. I really do appreciate that. That really helped a lot. Oh my god. Slarksy just subscribed. Thank you so much. Oh my god. I'm freaking out, man. <laughs> oh, thank you guys so much. Thank you. Oh god. Okay. Now, now I have to somehow transition to Madlips. <laughs> Mad Libs, coming oh. up with the thank you statement. Coming out with the thank you statement. Oh, God. Keep up the good work. Love you, dude. Hey, I love you guys, too, man. That that I appreciate it so much. Thank you. Uh, they, they, they've been really cool. They've been giving me a lot of... Uh, 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 they've been giving me advice for streaming stuff when I've asked for it, and I'm, I'm trying to... Uh, I'm trying to improve what I do. Oh, God. Okay. Calm down. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> Quick. Breathe All right. through your mouth. So what I want to do is I will pick, we're going to go one, two, three, all right? I'm going to pick the adjective, you're going to pick the number, then the third line down, which is an adjective, is going to be picked by chat. All right, so first, and then that, and it's going to keep repeating like that. It's going to be me, you, chat, me, you, chat. Sound good? Number? Yeah. Like, uh, just like how many things this is? Kind of. Uh, all right, so I'll start with an adjective. We'll say... Uh, let's see. Flumpy. All right, Logan, pick a number. Any number. 13. 13. And now, chat, you guys have to pick an adjective. Hope y'all brought your adjectives. Do I look like I do math to you? <laughs> 
Andy coming in with Cannibalistic. All right, let's do Cannibalistic. Can, uh, wait, how do you spell that again? Can, cannibalistic. God, I, why can't I spell this? Can, I, bull, is, can, dick. nibble. It's, it's also kind of hard with these shades because I can't, like, <laughs> I can't, like, see. Oh, uh, let's see. I, sorry, but I'm kind of interested in that, in the goggles ad over there. The blue lenses look swanky as fuck and I want it. Those are actually the same goggles that I have, just different color lenses. Uh, okay, I like so. Those. I like those goggles. Yeah. They are very cool. Um, okay, so size. I'm gonna say, uh, what's a, what, what, what's a good word? I'm gonna say, sm I'm gonna say small. You know what? No, no, no. We're gonna go swole. Swole. Oh, that's God. gonna be our. That's, that's gonna be not, our size. That's not small. It's a size. It's it, it, it's a measurement of the size of muscles overall. Swole. Okay, so it's Logan, color. Small. Pick a color. Don't you judge my choices. Orange. Orange. Okay, and chat, we need plural body parts. So arms, legs, magnum dongs. Your choice. Okay, let's not do penises. The immediate- the first one is dicks. <laughs> That's why I said let's not do penises. I almost hit my head on the table there. <laughs> let's see, dicks, schlong. <laughs> looks like- I'm sorry, Logan, but unfortunately, the classics- the classics are there. Okay. Oh the, the classics will we, will always win. So we're gonna go- we're gonna go with- uh, it looks like it's all dicks. I do like the sound of schlong, so I'm gonna say magnum schlongs. God damn it. Sh let's throw I a little- I thought we were past Weenie Butt Jr. No, we're not. Not when it's really funny. Okay, so emotion? Uh, let's see. Emotion, question mark. <laughs> I'm gonna say... Bips. <laughs> Beepus. <laughs> Bepus. <laughs> Alright, let's do Bepus. That's not an emotion. Sure it is. What's an adjective, Logan? That is a good question. Google. No, just, like, pick an adjective. That's what I meant, you piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to think of a good one. Meanwhile, chat, come up with a number. Mm. Fuck. It can be a fake one too. Fake ones work. Well, apparently we have Bethus as an emotion. <laughs> yeah, you sure. Why not? Oh fuck! I just had one out the corner of my eye. All right, I'm gonna put in blind. Blind? Okay. Clined? Damn these gu damn these glasses, man. <laughs> I love them. I love them, but it's hard to see keyboard sometimes. Uh, let's see, Wait, number... did you confuse B with... <laughs> uh, all the keys oh. are 100% black for me, so... <laughs> Your keyboard doesn't light up? Uh, no, it does not. I got it for free, so I'm not complaining. <laughs> Andy says 42, Mark says 93. I mean, 42 is the answer to, like, the universe and everything, so we gotta, we gotta go 42. Uh, verb? Another fucking adjective. Uh, let's what? see, verb. I'm gonna say... Fast, with three S's. <laughs> <laughs> let's see, um... Ah, uh, go, 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 what's a verb, what's a verb? Um, 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 um... Yeah, it's weird. <laughs> See, you know what? Yeah, we could throw an adjective on there, technically, I guess. So, let's see. Ran fast. Ran. He ran fast. All right, adjective, Logan. Beautiful. And chat, your next thing is animal. That's way too many S's. We need to slow down. 
<laughs> Gotta go fast. Beautiful. Beautiful. Can do. Wait. B E A U T I F U L. Thank you. You can thank Jim Carrey for that one. I know, right? Let's see. Animal. We're get okay. We have Dick Boner. We have Donkey Boner. <laughs> Stop. We have Dragon. We have Dick Butt. Oh my God. Dick Butt. Dick, <laughs> Dick Butt. That's a classic. That's a classic. Go, Dick Butt. All right. So adjective. Um. Uh, I'm gonna say Dick punchingly. You know. You know what? We have too much Dick. I'm gonna say. Not enough dick. We need butts. <sighs> Adjective butt fuckingly. Butt fuckedly. <laughs> fuckedly. <laughs> there we go. All right. Transportation, truck, airplane, scooter. That's yours, Logan. I was going to say scooter anyway, but now that it's there. Oh, and chat, your next one is verb that ends in ing. So Air running, boat. swimming. Airboat? Airboat. Airboat. Let's see. Andy says sexting. And keep in mind, the title of the story is Advice from Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Donkey punching. <laughs> sexting, donkey punching. Let's see if we can get one more option in there to choose from. Skydiving. Skydiving. Oh, so innocent today, Logan. So innocent. It, not where my mind was going. Oh, no. Did you read all the other things we chose? Ass eating. <laughs> uh, ass eating, sexting, or donkey punching? What are you feeling, Logan? Donkey punching is funny. I do like donkey punching. Okay, we'll do donkey punching for this one. Okay, uh, family member, grandma, uncle, sister. I'm going to say Neff son. Okay, so the airboats. Ding, 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 ding. We're in the south. Okay, Logan, adjective that ends in Bestest. EST. Bestest, all right. <laughs> Didn't even think about it. Okay, and chat, we need a verb from you. <laughs> Quote, I do like don I do like donkey punching, donkey Jeff twenty eighteen. <laughs> All right, we got another sexting for the uh verb. Thrust. Oh god. I like that. That's a powerful uh, sexting is good, thrust is good. Don't make me whip out my adjectives. Whip is a good one. Oh, it looks like Andy's going for thrust. I need more thrust. All right, we're going to go with thrust. Yes. Yes or no? I'm going to put maybe. Yes. Okay. Uh, all right, so Logan, we need a plural noun. Mooses. Okay. <laughs> moose is noun? Is moose a noun? Yeah. Okay, moose is. Uh, okay, so chat, we need meese. <laughs> no, uh, I was going to say meeses, but no. Moose. Mooses. Moses? <laughs> Moosticles. Good one. All right, so we need another verb from the chat. And Logan, you and I need to come up with adjectives. Biggerest. Biggerest. And I'm going to put betterest. This is, well, we already have bestest. But we don't so, have the betterest, all right? No, but you need to have the betterestest. <sighs> betterest. Best. Betterest. Bar nunzo. There we go. 
That's not Betteris nice Barnunzo. Name. That'll be mine. That's actually a really good username. <laughs> the Betteris Barnunzo. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> TM. TM. It's mine. No, no. You need to put the TM on the Barnunzo. <laughs> okay, so Andy's been bringing up sexting a lot, so I'm going to throw that in there. We know what he's doing right now. <laughs> okay. Um... All right, so the next one is for the chat. We need a plural noun. I need to come up with love, hate, can't stand, vehemently enjoy, because that's counter. That's very... Hold on. Vehemently, there we go. Vehemently enjoy, because that's, that's kind of self-contradictory, and I like it. All right, so, Logan, we need a verb plus ER. Please don't drop a PewDiePie bomb. That's all I ask. All right. I wasn't going to, but now that you mentioned No. <laughs> Never on stream, damn it. <laughs> all right, uh, you've Cracker. slipped once or twice. You've slipped once or twice, so I feel the need to say it. Slipped. I mean, yes. <laughs> all right, Cracker. so. Like Ritz. Noun plural. Actually, uh, you know what? Cracker can be a verb. You know what? Okay, so plural, I'm like, going to say... With cracker. There's dragons, then there's Mexicans. I kind of like Mexicans. Ooh, Mexicans are... Mexicans I kind of like Mexicans, Jeff, 2018. Okay, so what was your verb plus ER, Logan? Cracker. Yeah, I guess... What huh. Cracker. That, that, that crack is a verb, actually. So yeah, yeah. All right. So we also need an emotion from chat, and I'll choose the last adjective. Vehemently, in a forceful, passionate, or intense manner, with great feeling. Oh, I thought it was strictly negative. Oh well. In that case, I'm going to change it to despise. <laughs> despise greatly. Loathe entirely. Loathe entirely. Hate, 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 double hate, loathe entirely. Oh my god. I don't even want to know what we made. <laughs> Look in the chat if you can, dude. <laughs> hey guys, sorry I'm late. Took three minutes to make a new account. It's Mark, by the way. And the new, t the new name is <laughs> Betterest Barnunzo. <laughs> All right, I guess we got to ban it. We got That's a new trademark. we got a new we got a new shirt. I think we got a new shirt right there. Betterest Barnunzo. I wear it. <laughs> I imagine I imagine it, it it's just like I I would imagine like my little Jerf character but with a sombrero and a wicked mustache with a bunch of trophies. And Betterest Barnunzo 237 is written on the top of it or on the uh, brow. Oh that god. That's just amazing. All right. Yes, shirt it. Oh, dude, I intend to. I, I will work with an artist soon. <laughs> betterest Barnunzo. It is the Betterest Barnunzo. Da -da -da -da. Or should it be 2847? It's like a username. Wait, hang on. Hey, Arthur's here. How's it going, my man? Also, Jess is here. Welcome to the stream. Welcome. I'm pretty sure she's Welcome. Right I'm glad to inspire a shirt in a way. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so emotion, we have depressed. Sorry, I got so distracted by that. Um, yeah, we just need an emotion from you guys, and then I'll come up with the last adjective. So Andy suggests depressed. Let's see if anyone else has an emotion to throw in here. Adjective that ends in est. Well, we've got bestest, betterest. Fattest with a PH. Yes. Is that two T's? Big... Why not? Fattest. It's the fat test. <laughs> it is fattest. the test of fat. It's the test of your fatness. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, did you ever see the the video of uh, the Hungry Games? No. Oh, instead of Katniss, it's fatness. Oh, and she gets attacked by Rouge, and she's like, Oh, little bitch shot me! 
<laughs> so funny. Uh, let's see. Emotion. Lutted. Lutful. Looniest. Tee The Hungry Man Dinner Games. <laughs> That's a good one. Emotion. Done. Let's see. Elated. Okay, so Logan, I'm gonna let you decide this one. We have depressed, elated, looniest. So I guess loony. Uh, uh we have. Oh no, that, that might have been for the that might have been for the adjective. Okay, well we can still use it for the emotion. Looney's an emotion, I guess. Uh, we have ludful, <laughs> which I'm not sure what it is. Oh, Lust. lustful, lustful. Okay. So lustful, Lut. loony, no, elated, no, no, or depressed. It's ludful. We going with Ludful? It's now Lud. We're gonna go with Ludful. We're going for Ludful. This is the South, damn it. We don't spell right. Clearly. I could say Ludfulness. There we go. All right. So you guys ready to hear the amazing story that we have just generated? <clears throat> Advice from Dad. My dad's advice to me when I was a flumpy boy, around 13 years old. Son, I want you to know that I really think of you. You are cannibalistic. You were first born, and I stared into your swole orange magnum schlongs. <laughs> and I knew right then and there, you would make me Beppus. It's a big blind world out there, and there will come a time when I won't be here anymore. You must take that life's won't. issues 42 steps at a time. Make sure you ran fast your homework. <laughs> be beautiful to others, and take care of your dick butt. <laughs> <laughs> Buy a nice butt fucking earbud. <laughs> Before <laughs> donkey punching a new one. Oh Christ! My God, I'm crying. I'm crying. I'm legitimately crying. But fucking the airboat son, first. And handle peer pressure the bestest way possible. Don't, Don't thrust. thrust. Say they maybe to mooses. Don't sexting. Don't <laughs> sexting and drive. Good advice, actually. Find a biggerest girl to call your own. Be betterest bar nunzo to her. And son, never give up your Mexicans. <laughs> Stay true to yourself and go for what you vehemently despise. I know you want to become a cracker someday. <laughs> Make me lootfulness. I love you, son. Dad. This is the fattest piece of advice I have ever gotten. I hope it helps you, too. <laughs> oh, my God. This is the greatest thing we have ever created. I can't breathe. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh god. Oh, oh my god. Oh chat, thank you so much. Oh buy a nice butt fucking airbook. <laughs> oh, I need a drink. Oh. I need a mm. Mm. Oh my god. Oh god, I might puke. <laughs> that was so good. I can't see straight. Oh so good. You need to highlight these? Oh my... Yes. <laughs> I do. There are so many quotes from this alone. Oh, I need to buy myself a nice butt fucking airboat. Airboat before donkey punching a brand and new And I gotta, I gotta take this over shirt off. I'm, I'm getting too hot from all the laughing. <laughs> it's killing me. Oh god, I'm sweating. Oh, okay. All right. Tom's on that highlight. Oh my god, I hope it all fits in there. Jeff 2018. Um. <laughs> this is the fattest piece of advice I've ever gotten. Oh my god. I need to- hang on, I'm, sh I'm, I'm saving this. I'm posting this in the Discord real quick, guys. 
Uh, this story needs to be preserved. Uh, it's going in art corner, by the way. <laughs> Fight me. <laughs> it's going in there. Oh my god. And David left, so he has that to look forward to. Oh god, this needs to be immortalized in there. I, I don't, like, I will fight this tooth and nail in the office if needed. This goes, this goes in the art corner. Let me throw it in there. All right. Oh, Christ. By the way, if anyone would like to do uh, fan art, we are missing, uh, we do not have fan art for this week's Fan Art Fridays. If you want to use something from this story, I might die. <laughs> All right, another one says Jess. Logan, can you handle another? We got time. I don't know, but we got to do it. All right, let's go back. Let's go back. Okay, so let's see. Oh, okay, so I'm thinking either the awkward date or the guys I have dated. What chat? is Minecraft? Okay, so chat. The guys I have dated, or the awkward date? I want to hear about the guys you dated personally. Okay, so, Logan says guys I have dated. Tom says awkward date. Andy says awkward date. <laughs> Christ. You all right there? No, <laughs> I'm not. Was that advice too fat for you? It looks like they're all going for awkward date, so we're gonna go for awkward date. <laughs> Holy Jesus. Oh. Okay. So we're gonna do the same thing as last time. Everyone in chat, think of a number. Okay, I'll do guy's name, which will be... Frankie... Francis? Munez. Why? I, I feel like Frankie Munez today. Okay, so Logan's school su school subject. Maths. No, quick maths. Quick maths, I was about to say. Quick maths. Number, let's see. 24, 27. 24, 16, 77, and <laughs> 4, 8, 5, not... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that. I'll go with that one. Number. I'm going to throw in the commas, though. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Whoops. No, that's my porn history. Whoops. Oh, it's. I guess it's saying it's like too long or something. It just kind of freaked out. Oh, I saw that. Eh, we'll keep it. Let me throw some. Let me throw some commas in there, though. Can I not? Oh. Okay. Well, we'll just deal with that. Okay, verb plus ed. I'm gonna say. I'm going to say monster trucked. Monster trucked. Okay, Logan, we need a verb, and chat, we need a verb that ends in ing. Bonk. Bonk. Okay. Chat. Verb plus ing, we have fucking, we have shitting. <laughs> we have barbecuing. <laughs> barbecuing. We have smashing. Mmm, smashing. We have queefing. Ooh. Oh, God. <laughs> Guys, don't queef. <laughs> <laughs> That's not Dick very fart. progressive of you, Logan. <laughs> Dick fart. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, so queefing, smashing, barbecuing, shitting, fuck. I'm kind of feeling barbecuing, actually. Yeah. B B Q ing. I know there's like an actual way to spell it out, but I prefer B B Q. Okay, same guy's name. Okay, so that's still gonna be Frankie Muniz. No, no, no. You gotta change up the guy's name so it's funny. <laughs> oh, okay. It just keeps freaking out. All right, I I won't copy and paste. Gotcha, site. Letter of the alphabet. Frankie Munez. Uh, Frankie Johnson. You know what? It should just be uh, 
It should just be different guys named Frank with all last names. Ooh, that's a good point. So Frank, Frank Oz, the voice and the voice and puppeteer of Yoda. Oh. Okay, Logan. We need a letter of the alphabet. And chat, we need a plural occupation, as in taxi drivers, nurses, etc. Um, no. Oh, I see. I put it in the wrong spot. My bad. My bad. G? So, G? You can be a... How about we put... Uh, w w would you be okay with straight up G? Straight down G. Straight sideways G. Man, I already put straight down. Fine. Straight sideways G. What did we have for adjective? <clears throat> Fuck. Uh. I don't know. What did they say? Uh, I I can't remember. Uh, l l let me just let me just throw in a random thing there. Adjective. Uh, blacker than black. He black, y'all. There we go. Throw some lyrics in there. So plural occupation. We have prostitutes. We have night shift nurses. We have. I think that's it for now. So Logan, prostitutes or night shift nurses? What's the difference? Dun, dun, dun. Just because they dress like a nurse sometimes doesn't make them a healthcare professional, Logan. Well, what's funnier to you, or what's a funnier image to you? Guys in nurse outfits or dudes in drag? Okay, you know what? I'm going to kind of combine the two ideas and inverse a little bit. We're going to say day shift prostitutes. Okay. They shift prostitutes. Okay, so prostitute. animal. Right. Uh, I'm gonna say animal, parentheses, Platypus. from the Muppets. Oh my god. Logan, you have a day of the week, and Sunday. chat, you have a noise. As in, like, onomatopoeia. Like, you know, crack, thump, smack. Booga uh, booga, where the man made titties at? Yeah, exactly. Uh, okay, so Logan, what was your day of the week? Sunday. Can we put Sunday, Sunday, Sunday? If you didn't, I'd be disappointed. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday! And Saturday. That's why I said it. <laughs> All right, noise. Let's All see, stock noise. fart sound. Tub Splart. thumping. What Splart. I kind of like Splart. Cannon Splart. Splart, Wait, Fatang, that? Dank. Pokemon? Hey, Dank what's up, Scrub Lord? Dank is not a sound. Dank is an expression. It could be a sound. Dank. Splart. With I onomatopoeia, like splart. anything is possible. I like Splart. I kind of like Splart, too. Sound like. Maybe like a... He sounds like someone that would defend them all obsessively. Paul Splart, Mall Flop. Okay, so some guy's name. Okay, so now we need... I'm going to say Frankie yeah. Foster. There's another Frank. All right, so... Okay, Logan, we need a plural noun. And chat, we need an adjective. Frankies. Frankie? Oh, okay, I see what you're getting at. All right, so... <laughs> Frankies. Sounds like something out of Grab by the Ghoulies. <laughs> oh, God. I'm being attacked by a legion of Frankies. Let's see. Frankies. I, I, okay. I'm not seeing any adjectives. I just saw ooh-rah, and I'm tempted. Ooh-rah. Ooh, but then there's also cannibalistic, but we already use cannibalistic. Let's, let's go for new ones. I kind of like ooh-rah. Anchor sniffer. I'm going to put ooh-rah. No. Oh, raw. <laughs> uh, okay, so I need verb plus ed. Um, I'm gonna say spanked. 
I'm going to say... Speed boosted. Speed boost. Boost. Speed boosted. I hate that that's not one of his voice lines. Logan, a single body part. And chat. Mitochondria. And chat, a verb plus ED. Mitochondria. Mitochondria. The cell. It is the powerhouse of the cell. Can I fit all that? <laughs> Maybe if you don't space out the words. The power house of the... Oh, it, it goes over. Okay, cell. So, you know what? I'll put those spaces in then. I didn't know it scanned over. There we go. Mitochondria, <laughs> the powerhouse of the cell, and verb plus ED... Fisted. Uh, oh, hang on. Neck punched, fisted, charge shotted. God damn it, Andy. <laughs> I'm not using charge shot, damn it! It takes too long to charge. Uh, fisted, yet neck punched. Hmm. <sighs> oh, hang on. Uh, Tom, Tom suggested, oh, hey, Jeff, PlayStation emulator equals Oddworld streams? Hmm. I hadn't considered that. Yeah, you only played the game on uh, YouTube. So. Yeah, the Let's Play long, long ago. <coughs> yeah, I, I, I guess I'm down. I could set up a day for that. It's not a bad idea. Okay, so... Jess is maximum really... Maximum overborked. Hey, on. <laughs> yeah, Liam said a uh, maximum bork drived. I like maximum overborked. Well, uh, eh... Okay, well, I mean, it's kind of an amalgamation there. All right, so... Maximum overborked. Put a soft J in there. Overbjorked. Overbjorked. Torbjork. Torbjork. Bjork, Bjork, Bjork. All right, so for me, transportation, I'm going to say... I'm going to say those little four-wheel... Scooter things. ATVs. Things that hurt my dang fingies. There we go. Those dang, f those little four-wheeler scooter things that hurt my fingies. The ones that they had in uh, gym class when you were in elementary school. Oh, those. So fun oh. until you roll over your finger. Dark. See, pizza's the thing Jeff can't have. I actually, I gave up on the keto diet because I was feeling like shit, so I'm just going to limit my carb limit to like 100 per day. I think that's a lot more reasonable and I'll still lose weight considering I'm not consuming hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of carbs a day. Cheater. I mean, it's still better. Okay, so... Dark. You're going to say something outside is dark? Dark. Dark? It's... It's dark outside. Okay. Okay, and plural food, cocktail sausages, pickle surprises. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yep, pickle surprises. That 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 caught me right away. <clears throat> pickle surprise. Motherfucker. Pickle surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> okay, animal, I'm going to say I'm gonna say I'm gonna call it a what's it? A what's it? A what's it? Mick quack er doodle Esquire. Okay. Esquire. It's a lawyer. <laughs> okay, so Logan, we need a flavor, Pink. and chat, we need an animal. No, neon yellow. Neon yellow. That's not a flavor. Clearly, you've never had highlighter. <laughs> would you want okay so neon yellow neon yellow neon yellow if you can make a what's it i can make a neon um it's not a what's it it's a what's it mcquacker doodle esquire i'll have you know the second or third let's see animal okay <laughs> I, I mean it is it is an animal to be fair 
Okay, Dark. man bear pig. Okay, we got two for man bear pig. I'm gonna put man bear pig. Totally real. Okay, a liquid. Uh, I'm going to say. It's a liquid. <clears throat> hmm. I'm gonna say moose piss because I'm thinking of little Nicky right now. You could have turned his drink into moose piss, but you turned his Coke into a Pepsi. Into a Bethis. <laughs> My favorite part of that movie is still, uh, guys, I don't mean to alarm anyone, but, or point any fingers, but my TV just exploded. You're damn right it did! I mean, really? <laughs> okay. Also, Pringle. So, chat, we're going to need a liquid, and you said Pringle? Pringle. Just one singular Pringle. One singular Pringle. On my dingle. Okay, so we need a liquid. Oh yeah, I actually introduced Jess uh, in the chat. I, I introduced her to uh, Little Nikki recently. Oh, nice. I'm glad she loved it as much as I do. <laughs> she better, or she's disowned. Yeah, it's a good movie, surprisingly. It's very stupid, but it's the right kind of stupid. It's the stupid that knows it's stupid and isn't trying to do anything else. Oh yeah. She says she loves Tidhead. Tidhead was cool. I actually like that movie. I do too. Okay, uh, there is, let's see, liquid ass or liquid snake? Liquid snake. I'm gonna say liquid snake. Just because I know what he's saying, but just like a, an actual water snake. Yeah. A snake made of water. Okay, so chat, we need uh, plural clothing, so shirts, socks, shoes. Uh, I need to do an adjective, and Logan, we need a color. Potato. Potato? Not even potato brown, uh, just potato. Just potato. Adjective, I'm gonna say... Wiggity, wiggity, whack, Ooh. yo. Aw. Uh. You know what, I need to get rid of the yo, unfortunately. So wiggity, wiggity, whack. And we need plural clothing from the chat. Oh, I get to pick plural clothing too. No, you get a you get single piece of clothing. No, 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 no. You get plural. Not my bad. I just saw it. Wait, cou culottes, lapels, pants. What's a culotte? The fuck is that? What the hell uh, is a sal ad? Culotte. Shorts. Oh, they're like your harem pants. Oh, cool. They're like uh, those really, really baggy pants. MC Hammer pants. McHammer pants. Oh wait, no. Is that a skirt? Okay, so Logan, we have, we have sleeves, culottes, lapels, pants, and trunks. You know what? I'm happy with just sleeves. Sleeves. Like, not not a shirt, no pants, just they put on sleeves and walked out the door happy. Okay. <laughs> All right, so I need single piece of clothing. Logan needs plural clothing. And guys, you need to come up with a plural noun. Beanies. You're thinking beanies? Beanies. I'm going to say... <sighs> One shoe. No sock, just shoe. Hmm. Jockstrap. This is like character customization for Dark Souls. Kind of is. Oh, and Jess says, Logan, that's what I was going for. See, great minds think alike. Plural noun, we have nuns, we have monkeys, we have <laughs> speedos. Why not, nun Why not monkey nuns? That are wearing speedos. Speedo wearing monkey nun. <laughs> Speedo wearing monkey nuns. <laughs> Ghosts and beanies. Aw. Hey, babe. Babe. Yeah. babe. I totally just referenced you in chat. Yeah. yeah, we need a plural noun. He said ghost and beanies. Ghosts and beanies. I thought that was cute. 
Oh, I want beanie weenies You're now. You're adorable and I love you. Dork. So I need to think of an adjective. Okay, so I'm thinking... Skronk. <laughs> okay, so Speedo-wearing monkey nuns needs to be on there. Speedo-wearing... God, this could be a freaking stream on its own. Speedo-wearing monkey nuns. All right, Wait, I need an you adjective, you need an adjective. Chat, we need a noun from y'all. Well, I, I said skronk, but if you don't put the hyphen in between speedo wearing, it's like a speedo wearing a monkey nun. <laughs> okay, I'll put the hyphen. Hyphen. Okay, so my adjective... Oh no, uh, we're being invaded by skronk speedo wearing monkey nuns. Oh god, no. With beanies and jock straps and nothing but sleeves. Adjective, uh, um, putrid. You know what? No, 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 no. I'm going to say, yeah, well, putrid. Why not? You know what? No, 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 no. Stank. I'm going to call it stank. All right. Also, make Aiden as the noun. Oh, no. Aiden's there, say hi. Hey, babe. Jess says hi. Did I? Jess. Hi, babe. She says fuck you. <laughs> I didn't know <laughs> no, dad was there. Sorry, he says hi. I didn't know dad was there. <laughs> it does sound like a dad response, actually. Hey, tell him I said hi. He says fuck you. <laughs> Aww. Uh, okay, so we need a noun. I, I guess... I guess we can make Aiden the noun. I'm not sure how that's going to fit in, <laughs> but I'm a little scared. Okay, just a little further to go. That is true. Well, it's a proper noun, but it's a noun. Yeah. Okay, so both of us need to come up with a single body part, and chat, we need another adjective out of y'all. Eyebrow. Let's see, so you're thinking eyebrow? Bro. I... <laughs> Hang on. Kind of has a seizure on the keyboard there. It just went, I, 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 single body part. I'm going to say the cloaca. How do you spell cloaca? Do you need help finding it too? Well, I know what it is. Logan, can you look up how to spell cloaca? Because I'm scared it's to open another tab. C-L-O-A-C-A. Wait, what is it? C-L-O-A-C-A. -A. Oh, really? Huh. Yeah. Without the rumination there. Um, okay, so adjective. No, no, no not H. C L O A C A. C no no no, I said I thought there would have been an H in there. Oh, oh, okay, I see what you're saying. Also, I typed it in and the first thing to come up is cloacal opening shark. Yeah. What was that, babe? Look at his contact. Yes, he is. Tom <laughs> is taking first. Listen. Oh god. Oh, <laughs> Oh, All right, so adjective, that? we've got scary, we've got smush smush, we've got toenail. Oh, that was for body part. Oh, and uh, Scrub Lord asked what this is for. Uh, this is a Mad Libs thing. So this is, all of these words that we're coming up with right now are going to be put into a uh, generated story. And the story's theme is an awkward is the awkward date. So I'm going to put smush smush. Because it's a reference a to verb, Karen, not... and it's also adorable and possibly gross. That's a verb, not a, not an adjective. It's a very smush smush thing. What are you talking about? All right, so Logan, single body part. Again? Yep. I guess I guess I'll do toenail. I was thinking it before. Toenail. I need a verb and chat. Yes or no? Verb. I'm gonna say. Hmm. Porque no las dos. Uh, verb. You know what, babe? Can you think of a verb? I'm going to put screw. <laughs> All right. Wasn't it? Uh, well, it's just verb. So, screw. Okay, so chat, <laughs> yes or no, we have... We have yes, yep. yes, possibly, no means no. <laughs> yep, no means no. All caps. Yes. 
Yes. Yes. <laughs> no yes. means no in all caps. Okay. I have a motion. Logan, you have a greeting of some sort. And yes. chat, <laughs> chat, we need a verb from y'all. Okay, so... O-I-Y. Oi? Oi. Oi! Oi! Oi. Emotion. Smeckledorfed. Smeckledorfed. We've been Smeckledorfed! I haven't heard that one in so long. Uh, verb from chat? Alright, we just need a verb from chat, and then I'll come up with the room of the house. Laundry room. I'm gonna say... The fridge. No, it's gotta be something different. Take it to the... Take it to the fridge. Fine, what about the, uh... The fuck, what's that place called? The... Oh my god, I can finally use this! The Masturbatorium. Oh, hey. <laughs> here, I was trying to think of real-life place. The Masturbatorium. I will make that a real room. Isn't that just your bedroom? At the same time, everyone will want to visit it and not want to go anywhere near it. If you clean up after yourself, I'll take a gander. Okay, so we have... Uh, looks like the only verb we're getting out of chat is heaving. So we're gonna do heaving. Hugo heaving. I know. And you're so cute. Ain't it? Except flip me off. <laughs> I, was, I was too distracted by your cute face poking in from the <laughs> curtains, babe. You are so small. So precious. And I like rubbing your chin. Okay. All right. You guys ready for the story? Because I'm probably not. <laughs> I'm, I'm already laying down. I can't go as, any further. <clears throat> <clears throat> Cough. <laughs> okay. The awkward date. Tonight, I'm going on a date with Frankie Munez from my quick maths class. He has asked me over 4859358958948 times, and I always monster trucked him away. I <laughs> just fucking runs him over with overkill. This no, time... Uh, she chains him up to the monster truck and just drives off. <laughs> Puts a brick the on the gas and runs away. This time, I thought I'd bonk for it. I mean, why not? Who is it barbecuing? <laughs> that's- that's actually- that's actually a good phrase, who is it barbecuing? Um, Frank Oz is one of the- is one of those blacker than black, he black y'all kind of guys who gets straight sideways cheese in every subject. He's kind of a day shift prostitutes animal from the Muppets. <laughs> It was Sunday, 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 Sunday night when I heard a splart at the door. <laughs> it was Frankie Foster holding a bouquet of Frankies. He bowed and then handed, he defeated the previous Frankies that were hitting on her. He bowed and then handed one to me and said, You look oorah, my dear, oh, yeah. shall we? <laughs> I almost speed boosted from laughter, but held it the best I could. I took his mitochondria, the powerhouse of the cell, and he maximum overborked me to those four, <laughs> to his, those four wheel scooter things that hurt my dang fingies. So we're going to the date on those little four wheel scooters. <laughs> That's kind of awesome, actually. We drove. We ride. We, dro <laughs> we ride. We drove. We drove to a restaurant that overlooked the dark. He ordered pickle surprises. What's it, McQuacker Doodle Esquire fingers? <laughs> Neon yellow gravy. Ugh. And I think that's just piss. <laughs> yeah. And huge man bear pig burger with moose piss. I just wanted a single. I just wanted one singular Pringle with a glass of liquid snake. I guess he thought I was wiggity wiggity whack, but his outfit had me lose my appetite. Potato plaid sleeves with a button down chuck strap tucked, tucked in and oversized beanies on. Oh my god. 
<laughs> Another art request, I would say. <laughs> oh Christ! <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna puke. All right. After dinner, he drove me home. We talked about why speedo-wearing monkey nuns are so stank, which was scronk. And when he walked me to my Aiden, <laughs> he kissed me on the cloaca out of all places. <laughs> he then scratched his eyebrow and, <laughs> and said I had a smoosh smoosh time. Let's screw again sometime. <laughs> I nodded my toenail, no means no, no means then quickly no. went inside. I felt Schmeckeldorf seeing him again in school, but we usually just say, OI! <laughs> when we heaving into each other in the school masturbatorium. Oh, God. Mad Libs are amazing. I would like to make this a permanent staple of the show, if that is good, if, if that is good with you guys, because, my god. Oh god, we've been going for three hours and ten minutes, oh. Oh god. Can you scroll up so I can save that? Hang on, yeah, we gotta, we gotta say, go away, Ed. No one loves you. Okay, I'm gonna save this. This is also going in Art Corner. If anyone would like to do fan art involving these stories, I... I will put it on Fan Art Fridays. You will see it on stream. My god. Th this... This is gorgeous. I just wanna see... The button-down jockstrap. <laughs> the button-down jockstrap. I With mean, the guy should have taken the hint sleeves. after she fucking monster trucked him away multiple times. No, no, no. That was one of the other Franks. Oh, yeah, that was a different Frank. That was Frankie that Muniz. That was Frankie Muniz. Right, right, right. Frankie Foster see, had this, a different story. This was the uh, Frank to conquer all Franks. He, After all, he walked in with a bouquet of Frankies. Well, it was Frankie Foster, you know, from Foster's Home. So, oh. is it a two? Could be either, I don't know. Maybe it's a trap. We don't know. Real question is, is it gay? There's a lot of debate. I would say yes, depending depending if you keep going after them after you figure it out. Then it's gay. But is it rude? Oh, God. Okay. Is it rude to say no after they bought you a singular Pringle with a glass of liquid snake? <laughs> I demand a pint of liquid snake. I demand one singular Pringle. <laughs> Bring me one of your finest Pringles. Oh, Christ. See, this is great. Absolutely. Yes, please. I want the monkey nun I want the monkey nuns wearing speedos. If someone would like to draw that, I will put it if it's stream appropriate. If it, that's how it's drawn, I will put it on Fan Art Fridays. Just uh, submit it to me, either in a DM or in a tag tweet on uh, Twitter, or in a DM or a tag post in the Discord. I will put it in the folder. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm more interested in that puppet from Goosebumps. Oh yeah, there's an ad for Slappy up there. Just it's been staring at this. It's been staring at us this entire time. It's the one from the movie though, like. It, it it's kind it's kind of creepy, but in the movie he wasn't that creepy. Like he was much creepier. The original Slappy in the show had a creepier design, and the Slappy on the cover of the books was terrifying. Like, good God. The only book I read was with those aliens that ate the spiders. I don't think I saw that one. It was like the weird Star Wars looking alien. Don't know which book that was. I mean, I read it oh, back in like fifth. Arthur said, grade, "Oh wait, so. did you say draw? Draw what? Okay, we were thinking of maybe if someone could do fan art of whatever. W take your pick from either of these two stories. I have posted them in the art corner in the Discord if you want to check them out. If you missed something, but um, <clears throat> but yeah, um, if anyone wants to draw those for uh, Fan Art Friday, I will accept those submissions if they're appropriate." If they're stream appropriate, I mean, you know, I can't, I can't have yeah. straight up dicks on screen, unfortunately. Otherwise, they, there would be a lot of dicks on screen. It would be straight up dicks. Straight up there would be, there would be straight <laughs> sideways D's. Dude, he got straight sideways G's in every subject. All right. 
<laughs> Hello, son. Welcome back from school. How are your marks? I got straight sideways cheese, y'all. Damn. Damn, my son is fat. My son is a straight sideways G. Straight sideways G. Oh, God. All right, so... All right, everyone. I'm gonna... Where's that, where's that window thing? I need to get rid of that uh, video window. There it is. Okay. My head hurts. Okay, everyone. Uh, that's gonna be the end of the show. I hope you guys enjoyed... I had a great time, especially with those Mad Libs. Oh, Jesus Christ. And for anyone that wants to see the rest of this show, the discussion portion, the Tom's Weird videos, and all that jazz, this video will be exported in full to the YouTube channel and added to the playlist. So yeah, that'll be there. Uh, for all your viewing pleasure, I'll try to get it out there on the, the channel as soon as possible. Um, this could just be its own fucking stream. <laughs> Oh, Christ. Yeah, it probably should be, but I'm gonna make it part of Hangout of Doom. That, that's gonna be a new staple. We'll do that game for a while. Until it gets old. Um... <clears throat> I forgot this started at 6. Yeah. Yeah. Um... It feels like it's been going for longer just because we've been having so much fun. Mm. Oh, God. Oh, sweet lord. Okay, so, tomorrow stream. I want to get a general feel from the chat on this. <clears throat> uh, hey, babe? Yeah. Can you bring me the game I bought today? Yeah. Hey, babe? Hey, Dad? <laughs> the Game Grumps thing from uh, the 3D Happy Wheels, just, Dad? <laughs> Dad? Dad? <laughs> All right. Thank you, my lovely assistant. Don't you bash me on the head with it. Okay, so ladies and gents, I want to get a general feel from the chat on what I should stream tomorrow. Originally, I had planned that I would do more Blood Will Tell, but we got two streams of that in one day on Sunday. So I thought maybe a little something different, possibly. So this new game that I have bought, I will either do tomorrow or Thursday. All right, so what are you guys feeling? You guys feeling God of War? Wow, you actually bought that. Yes, I did. It actually looks, despite all the annoying-ass hype for it, I will say that it looks pretty damn good. Like, story-wise, it's more interesting than, you know, just an angry pile of muscles running around smashing things. Now it's an angry pile of muscles that is old, grizzled, and done with the world's shit, taking care of a small, innocent child. Which Can I like. I buy God of War on Steam? I do not know. I don't know. I know you can't play the new one. I don't know about the other ones. God of no. But uh, but yeah. If you guys would be, would you guys be interested in me streaming God of War tomorrow or Thursday? Just let me know. Uh, if we, if you guys choose Thursday, tomorrow will be Blood Will Tell, which is also a good game. Well, I won't be there, so have fun. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, Jess just quoted the Thank you to my lovely assist- uh, Don't you bash me on the head. Giggling off camera. <laughs> Alright. I'm glad I could be here for the end. Yeah, me too, man. We miss seeing you on streams more. Damn your job! You and earning money like some kind of responsible adult. And see, that would be uh, good to mix things up a bit. Yeah, I do kind of neglect newer games. Mainly because most newer games to me are just kind of bleh. You know? I like old, obscure titles that get no views. <laughs> it's a curse. Yeah. It is a like, curse. Like, uh, Payday 2. I wouldn't call that obscure. All right. That is also on sale for five bucks. Is it? Damn. Yeah. That's pretty cheap. Let's see, right? I want to fucking die. Well, don't die. Don't die. And, uh, while you got- Alright, while I wait for responses to that question, I just want to point out that down there, in the little slideshow there, and also on the, uh, normal stream layout here, down at the bottom right there, you will notice that there are spots for the last week's top cheerer and last week's top donor. If you want to get your names presented on there, 
I just thought I would make that a little, little tiny reward for you guys, uh, because I kind of felt bad that anytime someone cheered like the most bits per week, um, or they donated the most that week, they didn't really get anything aside from the little pop up. So I wanted to kind of like a a put that as a little tiny extra reward. I know it's a small thing, but I thought it'd be nice. I thought it'd be a nice little thing for you guys. So if you want to get your name on there, uh, pff, happy donating, happy cheering. Whoever, whoever out donates and cheers the top people. So I thought that could be fun. Um, all right. Obscure games to get no views, and yet when I streamed a pretty obscure game, I got a little bit of nose from it. It must, it must have had a, enough of a cult following, dude. Some games, some games, some obscure ass games have a cult following. Some don't. You know. Yeah. Most of the time, people just want to see what's new. Oh yeah, for sure. But I know there are followings for some smaller games. That, that is true. Maybe you feel might not be known yet. Yeah, there they are. Very true. I would stream if I knew how. I can show you the world, my dude. Don't know what I would do though, because I don't have my game cube. I don't know. I don't know games actually. Let's get a PS1 emulator. I think they have GameCube I, emulators too, so. They do. I just I tried it on my last laptop, didn't work. I'm gonna try it on this one. Just because it's stronger. Yeah. By a, a vast amount. I mean I can play <clears throat> Overwatch on max graphics with no issue at all, so. True. True. Uh she so just says I have to wait to donate, gotta get shit done with this money. Oh dude, priorities first. Priorities always priority first. Never never feel obligated. I just want to throw that on there as a fun little thing for uh, for people that already wanted to donate. I um, caved. So Shrub Lord's thinking God of War for Thursday. Um could be a fun way to mix things up a bit. Uh, but yeah, I, I, either Wednesday or either tomorrow or uh, Thursday, I'll uh, I'll stream it. I guess I'll just kind of flip a coin behind the scenes here. Um, but yeah, and I understand that it's a weekday, so I'll try to keep it uh, around this time. Maybe a little later. Maybe I'll start at seven, just so uh, people in the states will actually be like out of school and out of work, you know? Or me just having gone to work. Yeah, well, that's true. Some people do work night shift. But, you know, I'm just saying, like, the vast majority of people. <clears throat> See, like, Senior Ball is coming up. I may be going to a con, so cosplays need to get started. That is true. <laughs> just hold up a sign that says you're an, you're, uh, you're an NPC background character. Just wear your normal clothes. Just have that sign on you. Also, if someone Wait. says, I'm gay, I'm gay, no homo, is it gay? Well, of course not. They said no homo. That's how it works. You can do literally anything. Say no homo, and it's not gay. That's, that's the code, man. It's the bro code. Well, one of the bro codes. The other one's bros before hoes. Very important. All righty. Okay, oh, okay, there it is. There's the top cheer from last week, which was my lovely fiancé, Aiden. Thanks, babe. And there's the top donor thing. We didn't have a donor last week, so I just kind of put your name here. <laughs> and it's the, it's the $50 moolah note from uh, Oddworld on there. I just wanted to wait for that to cycle back through. Hey, I gave you almost 50 bucks. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that is true. I am the top don donor. <laughs> All right, so with that, Logan, do you have any parting words on this episode of the Hangout of Doom? Digimon's better than Pokemon. Fight me. That's fair. That is fair. <laughs> Liam, moolah. Moolah. Yeah. Fa moolah. Fa moolah. Okay, well, with that, I'd say I had a pretty good time. I think this is a good episode. We got a... Uh, Let's see, we talked about the indie games, we talked about the 90s nostalgia TV shows. Uh, let's see, we watched some really disturbing ass videos, pickle surprise. Um, and, hey, thanks Tom. Tom says, great episode. Yee! And, uh, we got those, we got those Mad Libs done, which almost killed Ooh. me. 
Oh, God. <clears throat> Monster truck them away. Monster truck them away. Chain them to a tire, put a brick on the gas, and let it go. Oh, wait. What was that What was that shirt idea we had? I can't remember what it was. Yeah, it was uh, Mark's name that I don't remember. Oh, that's right. That's right. Um, 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 um I got. I got to save that I somewhere. I got to save that I somewhere. Scroll, I can't scroll back up uh, that far. I can, but I can. Oh wait, Must can I? Nice. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, I well, can't. But you know what you can do? Save the stream as a vod and go back and watch it. Effort though. Okay, Mark, with your alternative with your alternate account, can you post a comment real quick so I can see what the name was again, if you're still here? I just want to get that before we go. If it's good. Oh, it was um uh, it was like Dunzo wait, no, it was something Barnunzo. Barnunzo. Was it Dunzo Barnunzo? Was that it? No, but Barnunzo was in there. Yeah, Barnunzo was the end. God damn. Oh, well, I'll, I'll have to... Okay, I, I don't know if Mark's here, so... I'll, all right, I won't I won't drag the episode out anymore. I'll find it in the VOD later. All right. So, uh, thank you, Logan, out. for coming on as a guest. Took long enough, but you're welcome. Yeah, scheduling conflicts, it happens. It happens. Um, And by the way... Next episode of the Hangout of Doom is going to be a special one. It is going to be a special episode. Uh, David will be my guest. And we are going to be doing a live review of one of the greatest Final Fantasy movies ever created, The Spirits Within. We will be reviewing The Spirits Within because I liked it and he hates it more than anything I have ever seen him rage against. Because that's not a Final Fantasy thing. That that's part of it. <laughs> that is part of it. A big part it's of it. It's just not Final Fantasy. Why so, yeah. are you slapping him on something that's not? So I am hoping to get that episode done next month. Some sometime by the end of next month. So uh figure uh let's see, around Don't the week timestamp on it. Like the week of the twenty seventh, I believe. Sounds more like a debate rather than a review. Oh no, will be a review. Uh, that I'm gonna be. I, I'm I'm kind of going back and forth between playing devil's advocate the entire time to give him a freaking like aneurysm, <laughs> or to be honest about like how shit the movie is and the good parts too. There are definitely good parts. I love Steve I Buscemi both. in that movie. <clears throat> it's a it's a laser cage. I could I just can't wave a magic wand and turns off. Looks at hand. <laughs> That was a good moment. That was a good moment. So, but yeah, there will be debating in it. All right. So with that, I'm going to call it a show. Have a good night, everyone. And, uh... Don't tell me what to do. That's fair enough. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> uh, no, nah, seriously. Have a good night, everyone. Except Logan. You can do Toodles. whatever you feel like having. You can do it. Your mom gay. How dare you, sir? Your dad lesbian. <laughs>